Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details. Only at Sutherland's. Jay Collins here, and I want to wish all the Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Stop down at Fremont Chevy to talk sports and let me help you purchase your next vehicle. Jay Collins, your local sales professional at Fremont Chevy Buick GMC, 307-349-7846. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Welcome back. Hey, it's a new year and we're seeing Wyoming Indian and Grable JV teams as Parlene Ferris just got fouled intentionally with three tenths of one second to play. So. The Lady or the uh, Wyoming Indian Chiefs going to win this junior varsity contest over the Grable Buffaloes, and uh, Parlene Ferris will shoot a couple free throws. They're leading this game 48-46, as you see on the scoreboard, and we're getting ready for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs and the Grable Lady Buffs. Parlene Ferris will hit the first free throw for Wyoming Indian. Of course, Ferris, one of these uh, dynamic new freshmen for the Wyoming Indian Chiefs, and we're getting ready from Bighorn County for the resumption of the Wyoming Indian schedule, and I just want to say thanks straight up to Ernie Over and Sean O'Brate, who broadcasted the uh, game uh, for me uh, last Friday at Wyoming Indian as the Chiefs and Lady Chiefs uh, hosted St. Stephen's. I was in Kansas at a family funeral. So um, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with more of the action as the Wyoming Indian Chiefs Junior Varsity Boys team wins tonight 49-46 over Grable. And it was a Grable rally which led to the win. So we'll be right back. Because the 
way you were just filming it, you didn't know this line was here, so you couldn't see the players here, okay? So you always want to be able to see as much of the players as possible. So go ahead and practice during warm-ups, all right? All right, we'll be back. This is uh, Cody Beers, Wyoming Indian basketball on a Friday night, January 6th. We'll be back. During winter storms, it doesn't take long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. Welcome back and welcome to Grable High School in Bighorn County. I'm Cody Beers. This is the pregame show brought to you by Hampton Inn and Suites. And tonight, the uh, Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs and Chiefs will take on the Grable Buffaloes in Bighorn County. This is a trip that happens every other year. And it seems like a long time since we've been here because the Chiefs and Lady Chiefs did not come here in 2020. Last time they were here was 2019. But a uh, good non-conference matchup tonight between the number one Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs and the two and five Grable Lady Buffs. But Grable, Coach Jeff Hunt, they know this Wyoming Indian team very well. They know what to expect and it'll be a good test tonight. And then tomorrow we'll have Lovell coming into Ethan E and Alfred Redmond Senior Gymnasium. And that's a great matchup as the 3A Lovell Bulldogs long time uh, rivals of Wyoming Indian will come in to Alfred Redmond Senior Gymnasium for a four and 5.30 matchup, and we'll have all the action here on KWYW, also streaming on uh, YouTube, at, on Wild Today's page at YouTube. So uh, this is the pregame show brought to you by Hampton Inn and Suites. We'll break down this matchup between Grable and Wyoming Indian coming up next on KWYW, and hey, I just want to say thanks to Mitchell Seher, who's helping me out tonight on the camera all across the network, uh, eagerly awaiting the paycheck that I'll give him tomorrow. We'll be back. From the field, to the court, to the pool, and beyond, Fremont County athletes give their blood, sweat, and tears for their teammates and community. Why compromise that with alcohol or marijuana? Help your athlete make the most of their playing time by avoiding the dangers and impact that substance use can have on their performance and future. For more resources and information, visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit nreca.org. Papa Murphy's is proud to sponsor this week's Player of the Game. For a limited time, enjoy a Papa Murphy's barbecue chicken pizza made with KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. After the game or any time, you can't beat the fresh ingredients and authentic flavor of a Papa Murphy's take and bake pizza. And you know it's baked right every time because you baked it yourself. Papa Murphy's on North Federal in Riverton. Drop in or order online at papamurphys.com. Go Wolverines! At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Welcome back. The pregame show brought to you by Hampton and Suites tonight. And 
as Wyoming Indian warms up here. We'll go over the Grable Lady Buffs, first coached by Jeff Hunt. They come into this game two and five overall. This team averages 31 points a game. They give up 44. The Lady Buffs shoot 19% from behind the arc, 22% inside the arc, and 44% at the free throw line. Leading scorer on this team is junior Kennedy Kraft. She comes in averaging 11.1 points a game, 7.7 uh, .7 rebounds, and three and a half steals. Also, uh, Chase Bonanski at 5.7 points a game and six rebounds per contest. One and a half blocks for Bonanski also. She's a junior. And sophomore Matea Henderson at 5.7 points a game. The sophomore um, is the third leading scorer on this team. Uh, as I said, uh, Grable two and five overall. And tonight they're looking to uh, get off the schneid against the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. Number one team in the state coming in eight and one overall on the season. And the Lady Chiefs uh, have been playing their best basketball throughout. Um, they uh, outscore opponents 66 to 36 on the season. And uh, they have been uh, doing a nice job shooting 35% inside the arc, 28% outside the arc, and 50% at the free throw line. Again, the number one Lady Chiefs outscoring opponents 66 to 36 through the first nine games of this 22-23 season. Uh, scores for the Lady Chiefs led in scoring by junior Shy Kills on top. Comes in averaging 19.1 points a game, 12.3 rebounds. She's been nothing short of outstanding in the preseason for the Lady Chiefs. Also uh, 3.2 points a game, four rebounds for junior Michaela Highwalker. Uh, 3.9 points, 3.3 rebounds for Dion Ferris. Elena Duran scoring 11 points a game, averaging seven rebounds. It's been freshman Taya Dixie at 4.3 points a game. Deja Felter at 2.4 points a game. The transfer from Lander, Taylin Tindor, averaging eight points a game and four rebounds for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs and junior Roberta Whiteplume has been outstanding this year. Five and a half points a game, 4.8 assists and three and a half steals for the Lady Chiefs. Lady Chiefs have been having their way. They play great pressure defense. Um, their only loss uh, coming against uh, a 3A team earlier in the year. Uh, they'll have a chance again against a 3A team tomorrow as they take on the Lovell Lady Bulldogs and will be on the call of that game tomorrow. Lovell coach Chris Edwards comes in four and two on the year. So um, I believe the Lady Chiefs lost to Glenrock in the uh, final game of that uh, uh, Glenrock tournament uh, up in right. It was the the right, uh, let's see, what did they call it? it? I call it the snow bowl, but uh, they didn't have any snow in that game. So um, we'll be back. Uh, on the pregame show, I'm Cody Beers, and we're about six minutes away from the tip-off and starting lineups. We'll be back. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Frazier, Dr. Hinkle, Dr. Ballard, and Dr. Davis offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. 
Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. Did you know the Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness in Thermopolis also has something called the Gachi Wellness Center? It's your dream gym with cardio equipment, cable machines, free weights and dumbbells, hydraulic resistance machines, and personal trainers that care about your goals. The Wellness Center is huge and includes a rock wall, pegboard, sled, tires, punching bags, squat rack, and a whole lot more. Check out the Senior Wellness class. To take the first step to a healthier you, visit gachi.org. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including... Welcome back. The pregame show brought to you by Hampton Inn and Suites, and tonight it's Wyoming Indian and the Grable Buffs. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more of the pregame show. You heard all that. Um, I've been coming here for years and never had to once say I was uh, coming and moving in, but uh, no big deal. And we'll be back with uh, the uh, starting lineups coming up. It's the Wyoming Indian Chiefs and the Grable Lady Buffs next up on KWYW. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, community health centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Visit Lander Gambles to make your home feel like new. They will beat any competitor's price. Stop by to speak to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles will help you find the perfect product that fits your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. At some point, everyone is a pedestrian. When you're driving, you're to pedestrian. Wear like clothing. Walk on a pathway instead of the road. Look out for pedestrians. Avoid distractions like your phone. Look out for pedestrians, they're everywhere. We are the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. We need you in our stand. Welcome back, and you can uh, zoom in on each team. This is uh, Cody Beers, joined here tonight by Mitchell Seahair. He's running my cameras. It's right up here, bud. Anyway, uh, we'll have the starting lineups on this pregame show, and we appreciate uh, everybody's understanding. They came up to me with about five minutes to go here and said, you're going to have to move. And I said, I'm not moving because it takes me 30 minutes to set up. So we've got plenty of room for everybody here at the table, and, uh, and we're ready to go with uh, Wyoming Indian basketball. Uh, we'll see what they're planning to do. I believe it may be the national anthem here as we get ready to announce the starting lineups. Tonight, Wyoming Indian 8-1 and one on the season, and they'll take on the Grable Lady Buffs tonight who come in 2-5 and five on the year. So I believe they are going to do the national anthem. So we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back with the starting lineups. Next up on KWYW. A well-drawn-up game 
plan can be the difference between wins and losses. The same can be said about your mental health. Making a game plan to talk to your children can make a huge impact on them and help make them feel supported and listened to. The good news is this winning game plan isn't hard to implement. All it takes is you starting the conversation and being ready to talk. If you need helpful resources and tools, you can visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-2941 today. That's 332-2941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Welcome back. We'll get the starting lineups for each team. First starter is going to be a junior, Roberta Whiteplume. She comes in averaging five and a half points a game. Layla Seabaring, the second starter for the Lady Chiefs. Eliana Duran, the third starter for the Lady Chiefs. Fourth starter averaging 19.1 points a game, 12.3 rebounds as Shy kills on top. And the final starter, Michaela Highwalker, a junior. So it's junior Michaela Highwalker, junior Shy Kills on top, junior Elena Duran, senior Layla Seabaring, and junior Roberta Whiteplume for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. Come in eight and one on the season. As we get ready to roll, the first starter, Matea Henderson, averaging 5.7 points a game for this team. The second starter, a senior, uh, Tori Sanford, the third starter for the Grable Buffs tonight, will be a junior averaging 5.7 points a game, six rebounds. Chase Bonanski, the fourth starter out there tonight, is Sarah Murph, a junior for Grable, and the final starter, Kennedy Kraft, the junior averaging 11.1 points a game, 7.7 rebounds, and 3.6 steals. So it'll be Henderson, Sanford, Bonanski, Murph, and Kraft for the Grable Lady Buffs. Grable out in their road white uniforms. It says Lady Buffs across their chest. And the Lady Chiefs out in their black road uniforms. It says Lady Chiefs across their chest. Of course, Columbia blue numbers trimmed in red for the Lady Chiefs. And we're underway from Grable High School on a Friday night, January 6th. There's Matea Henderson. She'll throw it right side on the angle to Tori Sanford. Back top of the key to Kennedy Kraft. Lady Chiefs out in the 2-3 zone defense. Left side to Tori Sanford. Sanford, one dribble, can't go anywhere. Finds Kraft on the outside. She'll bring it back on the right angle to Tori Sanford. Lady Chiefs, great defense and a steal taken away by Elena Duran and then taken right back by the... Uh, Guard Matea Henderson averaging 5.7 points a game for the Lady Chiefs. So Grable will reset in the corner. Kraft with the 10 foot jump shot. It's good. So Kennedy Kraft towards the game's final or first points. And each team with a turnover here early. Here's White Plume, top of the key to Michaela Highwalker. Now they'll go cross court to Shy Kills on top. And back out top of the key to Highwalker. Right side, White Plume. Inside on the angle, Elena Duran. Her turnaround shot, not good. Rebound by Shy Kills on top. Back around the hole, Seabaring to White Plume. She'll put the jump shot up, not good. It hit the backboard and off the front of the rim. Rebound on the angle, Sarah Murph. And it'll be Grable basketball. 6.39 to play first quarter from Grable High School. There's an over and back call. Nobody calls that one. And we'll get a foul underneath the basket on Layla Seabaring. 
So Seabaring's first foul was 6.32 to play, first quarter, first team foul on the Lady Chiefs. Been a while since the Lady Chiefs have been on the road. Here's a ball tipped out of bounds by Seabaring. 6.30 to play, first quarter from Grable High School. Chiefs, Lady Chiefs back in action tomorrow against the Lovell Lady Bulldogs and Bulldogs. Those tips at 4 and 5.30 tomorrow from Alfred Redmond Senior Gymnasium. Here's a near steal by Duran, and now a double team and a tie up as Roberta Whiteplume got her hands on the ball and tied up Matea Henderson. Ball will go over on the alternating possession to the Lady Chiefs. 6.19 to play first quarter. Here's White Plume right side to High Walker. Now cross court, Gills on top for three, in and out. And the rebound gonna be tipped out of bounds off the hands of Chase Bonanski. Wyoming Indian basketball. Here's Michaela High Walker with the ball. She'll bring it in over the top to Layla Seabaring. She's in the lane, tried the interior pass to Kills on top, and it goes off her hands and out of bounds. So second turnover on the Lady Chiefs, and we'll get a quick substitute for Grable as junior Ashley Gomez comes in the game, and she'll replace Sarah Murph. Grable basketball, Lady Chiefs out in that three-quarter court, full court press. There's Tori Sanford, she'll break the press, cross the timeline, and be picked up quickly by White Plume. Right side around the angle, shot up from the corner is not good by Bonanski, and the rebound, her second of the game, Goes to Shy Kills on top. Top of the key, High Walker, now White Plume. Grable in the zone defense. Here's Layla Seabaring at the high post with a nice move. She left it long off the backboard and the rebound taken away by Gomez of Grable. So the Lady Chiefs will back off to half court in the corner, shot up, good. And it's Matea Henderson from deep. And it's a long two, so four nothing. Grable Lady Buffs, here's White Plume to Seabaring. She'll take it inside, miss the layup. And then Layla Seabaring gonna be whistled for foul number two on the reach. So second team foul on Wyoming Indian. And it'll be Grable basketball. Of course, we're streaming tonight on Wild Today's YouTube page, and we're on 99.1 KFs or KWYW, excuse me. 5.04 to play, first period. Grable Lady Buffs basketball. There's Bonanski with the ball out of bounds. She'll bring it in to Tori Sanford. Now they'll get it across the timeline. Wide open, Gomez lay it up and good. So six nothing Grable. Lady Chiefs playing a little tentative here early on. And they'll throw it away, but Layla Seabaring will fight for it and we'll get a held ball. And it'll go to Grable on the alternating possession. Alita Moss stands up, says timeout. She wants a full timeout. We'll go with it. 4.46 to play first quarter. It's Grable six, Wyoming Indians zero. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. Welcome back. Six nothing ball game as Grable has come out and taken the early lead on the Chiefs and Lady Chiefs just playing a little tentative here. Layla Seabaring all, already whistled for two fouls, and that's been a problem of hers through the years for Wyoming Indian. It'll be Grable basketball. Chiefs out in that full court press, and we'll get a near steal, and then the ball is kicked out of bounds, and it'll stay with Grable. 
Six nothing ball game. And it'll be kicked out by Grable on the play. So Wyoming Indian basketball. Here's High Walker to White Plume. Roberta dribbles toward the middle. She's picked up strongly by Tori Sanford. Now outside High Walker. Top of the key, inside to Layla Seabaring. Shot up, will not go, but Layla will be fouled on the play. And that foul is gonna go on 24. 25, excuse me, Kennedy Kraft, her first. So Seabaring at the line will shoot two and she'll miss the first. Seabaring will get a second. 4.32 to play first quarter, six nothing ball game. Lady Chiefs have not managed to get a hoop here early. Seabaring second free throw, not good. Rebounded by White Plume and then she'll throw it away. Picked up by Kraft. So third turnover on Wyoming Indian. And a steal by Shy Kills on top. Nice job by Kills on top on defense. It'll be Lady Chiefs basketball following that Grable turnover, number three. 4.20 to play first quarter. Six nothing ball game, Grable by six. Of course, we're playing at Grable High School on a Friday night. Here's High Walker, top of the key. Right side in the angle, the kill's on top. The set three is not good. And it's rare when she misses two in a row. Here's Sanford with the rebound. She'll throw it middle of the lane to Matea Henderson. Down court to Bonanski. Near steal by High Walker, picked up by Sanford. Tori Sanford with the ball. Her shot not good. Rebound number three by Shy Kills on top. Lady Chiefs get out, unable to take off running as Grable does a nice job getting back on defense. So here's Layla Seabaring, top of the key for the Lady Chiefs. She'll kick it off right side. High Walker back to White Plume. Cross court, Kills on top to High Walker. Now left side, White Plume. She'll throw up the three. It was a bank shot, not good. And then tipping the ball out of bounds is Layla Seabaring and the fans here wanted foul number three on Seabaring. So Lady Chiefs now four and a half minutes without scoring in this game. Six nothing ball game. We're seeing number one rated Wyoming Indian Chiefs. Here's Kraft back to Bonanski. She'll bring the ball down the left side toward the baseline. Not able to do anything, and Wyoming Indian takes it away. Elena Duran with that steal. And the fourth turnover on the Grable Lady Buffs. Here's High Walker out, top of the key. Two kills on top, across the way to White Plume. She'll dribble drive, can't go anywhere. Brings it out, top of the key, kills on top. Three-pointer is good. It was just a matter of time before the sharpshooter got it going. And with three minutes to play, the Lady Chiefs score their first bucket on a three-pointer by Shy Kills on top. Here's a walk, no call. Across the lane, Kennedy Kraft. Now in the corner off the hands of Grable. That ball went off Riley Peasley, the junior, now in the game. And that'll be turnover number four on Grable. Substitutes back in for Grable, Matea Henderson. And for the first time, See, number 13 for Grable. And I don't know who that is, so we'll see if we can figure it out. Wyoming Indian basketball, right side kills on top, another three on the way. She's attempted four and hit one. Rebound taken away by Peasley. Down underneath, pass deep to Bonanski. And we'll get a Wyoming Indian foul on the play. Not sure who that one's on. It'll be the first on Elena Duran. So third team foul on Wyoming Indian. And to the line, number 13 for Grable. And number 13 is Sherilyn Diaz Rios. She'll miss the first and hit the second. So 7-3. Grable Lady Buffs with the four point lead, 2.23 to play, first quarter, and a turnover by the Lady Chiefs, their fourth. Down court, Bonanski, and a reaching foul by Michaela Highwalker. Her first, fourth team foul on the Lady Chiefs. Only one foul so far on the Grable Lady Buffs. Of course, Jeff Hunt, the longtime coach for Grable. 
Pass inbounds, bringing it back outside. Top of the key to Peasley, she'll dribble right side, can't do anything with it, finds Rios. Now a jump shot from the corner. It's a three-pointer for Matea Henderson, and the lead is 10 to three. Down court, Lady Chiefs gonna lose it. That goes off the hands of Dion Ferris. And right inside, laying it up, not good. On the play was Matea Henderson, rebound taken away by Elena Duran. Left side, High Walker. Now outside to Dion Ferris. Cross court to Gills on top. They try to find Duran on the inside. And the ball is tipped out of bounds by Grable. So Wyoming Indian basketball is now Michaela Highwalker gonna come out and freshman Taya Dixie will enter the game with 134 to play first quarter. So far Grable doing what it wants and Wyoming Indian been very tentative on offense. Here's Seabaring back to Kills on top. Her fifth three point try is not good. Rebound Dixie and then we'll get a foul on the inside as Taya Dixie is going to be fouled by a Grable Lady Buff. And I believe that foul is going to be on Matea Henderson. Her first. Second team foul on Grable. Shot on the inside by Ferris. Not good. Rebound taken away by Peasley of Grable. Peasley kicks it back outside to Matea Henderson. And then she'll find Kennedy Kraft. All over the ground. Lady Chiefs come up with the ball. Here's Duran down court to Shy Kills on top. Shy with the cross court pass off the hands of Taya Dixie and out of bounds. So turnover number five on Wyoming Indian. 10 3 ball game, 58.8 seconds to play, first quarter. And Camilla Brown will enter the game. Of course, the Lady Chiefs' last win was a 78 7 win over the St. Stephen's Lady Eagles. And they've not barely been pushed like they are in this game. So it'll be interesting to see how the Lady Chiefs respond. There's Peasley double teamed in backcourt. Steal by Dixie inside. Foul gonna be knocked to the ground as Tori Sanford will foul Dion Ferris on the play and Ferris will go to the line to shoot free throws with 46 seconds to play first quarter. So we appreciate all the sponsors of Fremont County basketball, including Chiefs basketball. There's the free throw, it's up and good by Ferris. Gotta think the Lady Chiefs will get into this. Uh, Grable comes in averaging 31 points a game, Wyoming Indian at 66. Second free throw by Ferris is good. So Lady Chiefs right back out in the press. Down court, they'll break the press to Peasley. 40 seconds to play, first quarter. Here's Peasley in the corner to Kraft. Her three-pointer is gonna be left short. Rebound Dixie. Taya, the freshman, nice pass to Camilla Brown. And the ball will go off Brown and out of bounds. So turnover number six on Wyoming Indian. 27.3 seconds to play. Tori Sanford with the basketball to Kraft. And now Gomez. Gomez double teamed on the right side. Ball tied up by Dixie inside Kraft and then taken away by Layla Seabaring and then she'll be fouled in back court. I believe, did they call a foul? Nope, they just say the ball was tipped out of bounds. So 12.2 seconds to play. Coming out of the game will be Kennedy Kraft for the Grable Lady Buffs. Wyoming Indian basketball, here's Dixie. She'll walk it across the timeline. Seven, now six seconds. She'll throw it right side to Ferris. And Ferris doesn't do anything to Dixie. And Wyoming Indian will not get a shot off in the final 10 seconds. So the Lady Chiefs a little out of sorts in this one. And the Grable Lady Buffs lead it. It's Grable 10, Wyoming Indian five. We're back after a break. On KWYW, and we're streaming on WOW Today at YouTube. Ready to serve you. Stop in at any one of their branches located in Riverton, Lander, and Dubois, a bank that is owned and operated by the locals of Fremont County. Wyoming Community Bank, they're here to help you. 
Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181 today. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Welcome back as we get ready to start the second quarter. When they're down here, remember to move your camera up. All right, so Taya Dixie with the basketball. Lady Chiefs come out in a 1-3-1 offense and throwing the ball away is Ferris and then we'll get a Wyoming Indian foul on Taya Dixie. Dixie's first foul and that'll be team foul number five on the Grable Lady Buffs, or I'm sorry, on Wyoming Indian. 7.47 to play first half, 10-5 lead, and a steal. That steal by Duran. And then she'll dribble right into it and lose the ball. It'll be held, and it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Nope, it'll be Grable basketball as Shy Kills on top comes back in the game for Elena Duran. Grable basketball, here's Sanford. Back top of the key to Ashton Chapman in the game for the first time. Picked up by Henderson. Gomez with the wide open track to the hole. And then the ball gonna get away, but Grable will get it back to Chapman, top of the key. And then stolen away, Layla Seabaring. She'll throw it down court to Duran, who's knocked to the ground. And there's no call on the play? Oh my. That was physical basketball as Elena, I'm sorry, Dion Ferris got knocked to the ground. Wyoming Indian basketball, here's Dixie to Ferris. Right side on the angle, Layla Seabaring misses the layup. She'll get her own rebound, bring it out toward Kills on top, who will save it back in to Chase Bonanski, throws it down deep to Chapman. She'll bring it back out, Grable basketball. So turnover number six or turnover number seven on Wyoming Indian. Shot up by Grable, not good. Another rebound by Kills on top. Lady Chiefs with the ball, Dion Ferris to Taya Dixie. She'll drive inside to the hole and be hit and fouled on the play. Taya Dixie will go to the line to shoot two. Second foul gonna be called on Matea Henderson. That's the fourth team foul on Grable. So Dixie to the line, she'll shoot two. First one, good. So the freshman on the board with her first bucket. Wyoming Indian now three of five at the free throw line. Only one basket so far, and that was a three by Shy Kills on top. Kills on top, one for five from behind the arc. Second one by Dixie, not good. And the rebound taken away by Gomez. In backcourt, steal for Wyoming Indian to Ferris. She'll go up and under. And the ball will be tipped out of bounds. So Lady Chiefs basketball with 6.36 to play. Jeff Hunt knows how to play Wyoming Indian and right now he's choosing to play it very physical. Here's the pass inbounds off Camilla Brown's hands. Turnover number eight on the Lady Chiefs. Driving inside the other end, Matea Henderson and she'll be fouled on the play. That foul gonna go on Dion Ferris, her first. And we'll get a timeout taken by Wyoming Indian with 6.31 to play first half. We'll be back. It's more than clocking in or collecting a paycheck. We are a network of caring professionals who want to be here, dedicated to serving our communities. We are Sage West Healthcare, our two campus hospitals in Riverton and Lander. We take pride in our region, our people, and our communities. Located in beautiful central Wyoming, filled with natural recreation in our own backyard. We are neighbors caring for neighbors, a community caring for its own. We are Sage West. We are recruiting the best, like you. 
Welcome back, 6.31 to play, first half. And to the line for Grable will be Matea Henderson. She's got five points and misses the first free throw. She'll get a second. Grable now one for three at the free throw line. Back up to the line, Henderson, free throw on the way, not good. And the rebound taken away by Grable's Chase Bonanski, but she'll throw the ball out of bounds. Turnover number six on Grable. We'll get Taya Dixie still in the game. Not sure, it looked like, oh, it was a Grable girl came out, Henderson came out of the ball game. Roberta Whiteplume, right side, kills on top. Not good from behind the arc. And the pass is gonna be intercepted by Roberta Whiteplume. Nice dribble, or nice pass through the lane uh, to Camilla Brown, and it'll go off Grable and out of bounds. So Lady Chiefs trying to turn up the pressure. Here's a pass inside, kills on top, and she'll be pushed on the play that time by Cheryl Diaz-Rios. Nope, they're gonna say it's on Gomez, her first. And that'll send kills on top to the line. Shy kills on top will drain the first free throw. She's got four points and it's a 10-7 ball game. 6.09 to play first half. Lady Chiefs not much offense so far in this one. Kills on top will hit the second bucket. She's got five points and it's a 10-8 ball game. Here's Bonanski over the timeline, guarded. Taya Dixie with a steal to Roberta Whiteplume. She'll drive it in, miss the layup, rebound, put back. On the play is up and good by Kills on top. So we're all tied up, 10 apiece. First time tied since the game started. Here's Gomez inside, will miss the layup. Rebound again by Kills on top. Down court, Roberta Whiteplume lays it up, not good. Camilla Brown's put back is not good. Taya Dixie's put back is good. So good job, good aggressive play by the Chiefs on the boards and the Chiefs with the first lead of this ball game with 5.31 to play first half. Grable coach Jeff Hunt wants a timeout, we'll go with it. This is Wyoming Indian Basketball on KWYW and we're streaming on YouTube at WYO Today. Riverton's Hampton Inn and Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. Welcome back, 12-10 ball game, Lady Chiefs by a bucket. And it'll be Lady Buffs basketball facing this Chiefs full court press. There's Tori Sanford, left side. They'll bring it across to Chapman. Now in the corner to Kennedy Craft. She's picked up quickly by this Lady Chiefs 2-3 Z defense. Back outside, ball tipped out by Roberta Whiteplume. So Lady Chiefs defense, it'll wear on you after a while. Grable basketball. And taking the ball out of bounds is Bonanski. Bonanski will inbound it to Tori Sanford. Sanford around the left side, hounded by Taya Dixie. Now being hounded by Roberta Whiteplume and great defense. She'll knock the ball off Ashton Chapman's knee and out of bounds. Turnover number seven on Grable. It'll be Lady Chiefs basketball. Camilla Brown will come out of the game and Maggie Smith in the game for the Lady Chiefs. Left side pass to Dixie. In on the lane, Layla Seabaring. Her shot's blocked by Bonanski. And then they'll double team in backcourt. And we'll get a foul on Wyoming Indian. And it'll be the third foul on Layla Seabaring. So Seabaring's gonna have to come out with her third foul at the 448 mark. And replacing her, Elena Durant. That foul on Wyoming Indian, their seventh team foul. So at the line, 
is Ashton Chapman. Her free throw is not good. And the rebound taken away by the Lady Chiefs. There's Roberta Whiteplume over the timeline. Left side Dixie for three. In and out, back in, out. And then the ball gonna go off Kraft's foot. And out of bounds, it will stay with Wyoming Indian. Michaela Highwalker gonna come back in and replace Taya Dixie. Did a nice job on defense for the Lady Chiefs. There's the pass inside. Maggie Smith's shot is blocked out of bounds. And it went off. Well, they're gonna say, yeah, it was touched and it was blocked. So the ball will stay with the Lady Chiefs with 4.33 to play first half. 12-10 ball game. Here's High Walker. Nice inbounds to Maggie Smith. Lay it up. Good. Maggie Smith got the opposite break to the basket, and she got the pass and laid it up and good. Here's a near foul or near steal by Elena Duran, and that'll be her second foul. So back to the other end we go as the Lady Chiefs on a 9-0 run in the second quarter, and they have a four-point lead. Chapman gonna go back to the line. She's 0 for 1. Grable 0 for 3 at the line in this quarter. Eight team fouls on Wyoming Indian. Here's Chapman's free throw. It's good. So Chapman scores her first point of the game. 14-11 ball game. That ends a 9-0 run by the Lady Chiefs to open the second quarter. Second one by Chapman is an air ball and it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Free throws will make a difference in this one. Grable one for five in the second quarter, one for two in the first half, so they're two for seven. Here's Roberta Whiteplume, left side pass to Michaela Highwalker in the, in the corner, back outside to Kills on top. Left side, Highwalker with the left-handed set shot, rebound, Kills on top, she'll miss the layup. And the ball will go off Elena Duran and out of bounds. So 4.02 to play in the second quarter. Grable basketball, here's Tori Sanford. She'll bring it over the timeline, nobody picks her up. And then the steal by Maggie Smith, picked up by Roberta Whiteplume, Smith with the ball, throws it left side to Michaela Highwalker. Now back out, top of the key, Whiteplume, and she'll walk with a basketball. Turnover number nine on the Lady Chiefs with 3.47 to play, first half. Wyoming Indian Chiefs out of the locker room on the other side, watching the action. Grable Lady Buffs basketball. Here's Sanford to Chapman. Chapman brings it over the timeline. They should have double teamed her right over the Grable Buff. They did not. To Stanford, inside Kraft, lay it up, not good. And she'll be fouled on the play. Kennedy Kraft will go to the line to shoot free throws. And that'll be the first foul on Maggie Smith. Timeout on the floor, it's a 30 second timeout, 3.34 to play first half. Wyoming Indian 14 and Grable 11. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs. Welcome back. 334 to play first half. Lady Chiefs lead it by three. They've outscored... Grable, nine to one in this quarter. And at the line, shooting free throws will be Kennedy Kraft. Leading scorer on this Grable team will miss the first free throw and she'll get a second. Kraft comes in averaging 11 points and 7.8 rebounds a game, also three and a half steals. Second free throw by Kraft, not good. And the rebound taken away by Wyoming Indian. 3.30 to play, first half. Right side kills on top, inside Maggie Smith. And she'll be fouled on the play. Nice ball movement by the Chiefs as Chase Bonanski whistled for her first foul. Maggie Smith will go to the line. She's got two points. 
Lady Chiefs only in this game with four buckets. Smith misses the first free throw. She'll get a second. It's on the way, in and out, not good. And then Maggie Smith with the foul, her second. So we'll go back to the other end and shoot free throws. Three twenty-four to play. That's team foul number ten on the Lady Chiefs. And now Bonanski to the line. She's not scored. She's second leading scorer on this team at five point seven points a game. Free throw from Bonanski, not good. Grable struggling at the line in this quarter. One for eight. Second one on the way, and we get a lane violation on Grable. Sanford fell into the lane before the free throw, so that one will not count. Substitute in for the Lady Buffs. Will be Maya Oatman, the sophomore post player for Grable. Wyoming Indian basketball, here's High Walker. Left side, kills on top, back around the horn to White Plume, cross court pass. Kills on top, now right side to White Plume. Her three is gonna be short. And the rebound taken away by Roberta White Plume. She's in the lane and she'll draw the foul on Bonanski. So Roberta White Plume will go to the free throw line. And Bonanski will have her second foul. So Roberta White Plume, who's not scored, Comes in averaging five and a half points a game. She'll hit the first free throw. 15-11, Lady Chiefs lead it by four in this game. White Plume back up there, eyes it, fires it, and knocks it down. So Lady Chiefs hitting free throws, five of eight in this second quarter. They lead by five, it's 16-11. Down court, Chapman, and the ball goes off Oatman's hands and out of bounds. Back in the lineup for Wyoming Indian, Dion Ferris. She'll replace Maggie Smith. 2.55 to play, first half. Chiefs by five. 11-1 run in this second quarter for Wyoming Indian. There's White Plume, top of the key, left side High Walker. Now in on the blocks to Elena Duran and she'll be fouled on the play. So Duran will go to the line. That foul gonna be the first on Maya Oatman. Ninth team foul on Grable as step into the line, Elena Duran. Her free throw, not good. She'll get a second. Back in the game for Grable, Matea Henderson and sitting down is Ashton Chapman. Second free throw by Duran, not good. Saved back in, great play by Michaela Highwalker gets it from, and we'll get a layup for Dion Ferris. I just flat missed most of that call. I apologize, 18-11, Wyoming Indian by seven. There's Kraft driving in, wide open layup, not good. Rebound put back up by Oatman is not good. She misses another shot. And then another rebound taken away by Grable, who loses the ball out of bounds off Matea Henderson's knee. Lady Chiefs with the basketball, 2.14 to play in this first half. Lady Chiefs on a 13 to one run in this quarter. Coming out of the game for Wyoming Indian, Elena Duran, and back in is Taya Dixie. White Plume, left side, throws it away. Throws it right past Dion Ferris and out of bounds. That'll be 11 turnovers on the Lady Chiefs. Just don't seem to be playing with a lot of fire in their gut tonight. Here's a steal by Dion Ferris on the out of bounds play. Ferris drives inside and they'll get a player control foul on Dion Ferris. She's put her shoulder down and just rocked the Grable Lady Buff. 2.05 to play, first half. It'll be Grable basketball. Not much uh, just consistency either way in this game. It's been pretty ugly. Here's 
Sanford with the basketball. She'll bring it bound now. Oatman, who turns around and walks with the basketball. That'll be turnover number nine on Grable. Jeff Hunt encouraging his girls. 13-1 run in this second quarter. Lady Chiefs up by seven. Here's High Walker, right side. She'll drive the lane, running one-hander is not good. Rebound taken away by Kraft. Kennedy Kraft across the timeline, terminates her dribble, throws it right side to Bonanski. Now back left side to Henderson. She'll drive in the lane and draw the foul on Wyoming Indian. A lot of fouls called in this first half. That foul's gonna go on Shy Kills on top. That'll be her first. So back at the lane is Matea Henderson. She's 0 for 2. Now 0 for 3 at the line. Tough, tough quarter at the line. Grable hits their free throws. They're ahead in this game. Here's Chapman back in. She'll replace Chase Bonanski. Second free throw. Not good. Rebound taken away by Kills on top. And then she'll throw it out to Camilla Brown. And Camilla falls out of bounds. Turnover number 12 on Wyoming Indian. 18-11 ball game. Grable basketball. A lot of turnovers in this one as Kills on top comes out of the game. And Dion, or I'm sorry, uh, Elena Duran back in there. Left side on the angle to Henderson. Now cross court to Sanford. 128 to play, first half. Back to Chapman, top of the key. Now to Henderson. Inside to Sanford to Chapman and she'll throw it away. Picked off on the play by Elena Duran. Wyoming Indian basketball, here's High Walker over the timeline. Michaela dribbles right side and we'll get a foul away from the ball on Wyoming Indian. And that'll be on Taya Dixie with the illegal screen. 18-11 ball game. 6.26 p.m. on a Friday night in Grable, Wyoming. Beautiful weather up here, very little snow, maybe an inch. Boy, if you're from Fremont County, that's odd. Right now we're covered up. Here's Sanford, right side to Henderson. Kraft will drive in the lane. Oatman had her shot partially blocked. Crowd wanted a foul, did not get it. Outside to Peasley. Now in the corner, Kraft for three. It's good. Kennedy Kraft hits the first bucket of the quarter for Grable, and it's 18-14. There's High Walker, right side. Tries to find Dixie, can't. Picked off by Kraft. Kennedy Kraft inside, shot up, not good. Rebound for Camilla Brown. Brown back the other way. It's gonna be double team, loses the handle. Stops, 21 seconds to play, first half. There's High Walker, she'll find Brown. Oatman hits the ball away, and coming up with that one is Grable. Down court, tied up inside. We'll get a held ball, and good hustle play by Dion Ferris. It'll stay with Grable with nine seconds to play first half. Sorry, it goes over to Wyoming Indian, as it should. There's High Walker, down court. Taya Dixie for three, not good. And that'll do it. First half. 18-14, Wyoming Indian, not the prettiest thing, but post-Christmas basketball, gotta wipe the cobwebs off. We'll be back with a halftime show brought to you by wowtoday.com, uh, actually by the Wyoming Department of Health. I'll be back with the halftime show on KWYW. Are you a caring? person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. 
Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. Welcome back. Halftime score, Wyoming Indian 18 and the Grable Lady Buffs 14. It was an ugly first half. I would imagine that uh, Coach Lita Moss would tell you that uh, her girls just don't seem to be in it emotionally. And, and it was uh, a game with many turnovers, 13 for Wyoming Indian, 10 for Grable unofficially, according to my records. Um, Wyoming Indian would be outscored 10 to 5 in the first quarter. They would come back and outscore Grable 13 to 4 in that second quarter to take the four point lead in at the half. And Lady Chiefs just uh, kind of looking in slow motion here on the road. They've not been on the road much, and uh, they've got to get used to going on the road over the next couple months as they prepare for a possible trip to regionals and state for the Grable Lady Buffs in the first half. One point for Ashton Chapman, five points for Matea Henderson, five points for Kennedy Craft, two points for Ashley Gomez, and one point for Cheryl Diaz-Rios. For Wyoming Indian in the first half, two points for Roberta Whiteplume. She was two for two at the free throw line. Three points for Taya Dixie. She was one for two at the free throw line. She did have a bucket in that second quarter. Elena Duran did not score. She was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Four points for Dion Ferris. She was 2 for 2 at the free throw line. Maggie Smith with two points. She was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Seven points for Shy Kills on top. She had that three early in the game. Since then has went 0 for 5. She's 1 for 6 from behind the arc. And seven points. Shy Kills on top, 2 of 2 at the free throw line. Wyoming Indians 7 of 14 at the free throw line. On the other side, Grable 2 of 12 at the free throw line. Um, foul trouble, Layla Seabaring with three, Taya Dixie with two, Elena Duran with two, Dion Ferris with two, Maggie Smith with two. On the other side, Matea Henderson with two, uh, Chase Bonanski with two for the Grable Lady Buffs. It was uh, foul city and turnover city in the first half and then a whole bunch of missed free throws for the Grable Lady Buffs. They hit free throws, they're leading this game because frankly the Lady Chiefs just have not been playing Lady Chiefs basketball other than defense in the first half. So that is your halftime perspective and stats and we'll be back. This is the Wyoming Department of Health halftime show and I apologize, I did not get the uh, graphic up but uh, it only takes a minute to check and see if you've got type two diabetes. So take the opportunity, take care of your health on behalf of the Wyoming Department of Health. It just takes a minute to get the test. Find out, you can correct diabetes with good health, uh, good exercise and weight loss um, and diet. So um, we'll be back after a break. This is Wyoming Indian Basketball on KWYW. Jay Collins here, and I wanna wish all the Fremont County athletes good luck this year. 
Stop down at Fremont Chevy to talk sports and let me help you purchase your next vehicle. Jay Collins, your local sales professional at Fremont Chevy Buick GMC. 307-349-7846. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in-person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. During winter storms, it doesn't take long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. From the field, to the court, to the pool, and beyond, Fremont County athletes give their blood, sweat, and tears for their teammates and community. Why compromise that with alcohol or marijuana? Help your athlete make the most of their playing time by avoiding the dangers and impact that substance use can have on their performance and future. For more resources and information, visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit nreca.org. Papa Murphy's is proud to sponsor this week's Player of the Game. For a limited time, enjoy a Papa Murphy's barbecue chicken pizza made with KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. After the game or any time, you can't beat the fresh ingredients and authentic flavor of a Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. And you know it's baked right every time because you baked it yourself. Papa Murphy's on North Federal in Riverton. Drop in or order online at PapaMurphy's.com. Go Wolverines! At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Welcome back to the halftime show brought to you by the Wyoming Department of Health. Remember, it only takes a minute to get tested for pre-diabetes. Girls basketball scores this week. uh, Interclass play, it was uh, number one Cody in 4A55, PAL 13. That was a final on Tuesday night. It was 2A Sundance 48, uh, lead South Dakota 28, 2A Lusk 46, Hemingford, Nebraska 29, a non-varsity opponent, 1A Rock River 42, the Laramie Sophomores 25. Um, yesterday, Lander at Rollins was canceled and Lander did cancel all of its weekend games due to the uh, storm that happened this last week. Interclass play on uh, last night, it was number one Cody 53, uh, Worland 24 in girls basketball. 1A Dubois 50, uh, St. Stevens 40. Um, so good win there for the Dubois Lady Rams. Little Snake River, 56, Hayden, Colorado, 29. It was Teton out of Driggs, Idaho, 63, and 4A Jackson, 17. 
Campbell County JV uh, 61, 1A Arvada Claremont 26, and the right JV 55, Midwest 46. In tournament play, um, Burns, Burns 43, number three Tongue River 40, uh, Pine Bluffs 51, Bighorn 25, I messed up my camera. Uh, so yeah, Pine Bluffs 51, Bighorn 25, that's the 2A East girls smackdown at Burns and Pine Bluffs at the James Johnson Winter Classic in Cheyenne and Laramie. The Southeast 28, Wheatland 19, Sheridan 41, Kelly Walsh 31, Laramie 50, Green River 43, it was Cheyenne East 55, Rock Springs 30, Cheyenne Central 57, Riverton 31, uh, Douglas 63, Natrona County 48, Evanston 48, Cheyenne South 37. Um, here at half, it's Wyoming Indian 18, Grable 14 as the teams back out on the floor and we'll get ready to get things going again. And it'll be Grable basketball as we open this second half of play. Lady Chiefs out in their 2-3 zone defense. It's been effective for them through time. And we'll get Kraft on the left side. Inside shot is up and good that time by Maya Oatman. We've got a two point game. 18-16 as Roberta Whiteplume brings the ball over the timeline, finds Shy kills on top, nearly throws it away. Inlet pass inside to Elena Duran and she'll dribble the ball out of bounds. Turnover Wyoming Indian. So that's 14 turnovers now on Wyoming Indian. 7.36 to play in this third quarter. Down court off Kennedy Kraft's hands and out of bounds and it'll be a turnover on Grable, their 11th of the ball game. So Wyoming Indian basketball. There's White Plume over the timeline. Right side on the angle to High Walker. High Walker, top of the key, White Plume. Left side kills on top for three. It's not good. She's now one for seven from behind the arc. Rebound Bonanski. Bonanski down court to Henderson, and she'll throw it away. And then have the Roberta White Plume will have the ball tipped out of bounds. It'll be Lady Chiefs basketball. So 12 turnovers on Grable. Wyoming Indian basketball, 7.07 to play in this third quarter. There's White Plume, she tried the fancy pass and it didn't work, goes off kills on top. And it's a turnover number 15 on the Chiefs. To Bonanski, outside Sanford, Grable basketball. I guess we better turn that off. Grable basketball inside to Oatman. Her turnaround shot is good. Maya Oatman ties up the game. She's got four in the quarter. And it's 18-18. There's kills on top. Cross court to White Plume. Now top of the key, Layla Seabaring, and she'll walk with a basketball. Took steps before she dribbled. Layla Seabaring. 6.33 to play third quarter. And right now you can, there's a lot of Discussions going on on the Lady Chiefs bench about what combination would work best here. Here's Sanford, drops it off to Kraft. Her running one-hander is not good, and Shy Kills on top comes up with the rebound and then throws it right back to Kraft. Grable basketball, here's Sanford. In the corner, Kraft wide open to the hole, and we'll get a player control foul away from the ball, and it's gonna go on Maya Oatman, her second. So Oatman will come out of the game and back in for Grable is Sarah Murph. 6-10 to play, we're all tied up 18-18 here in the third. Outside pass, three pointer is good by Kills on top. Her second three and she's in double figures with 10. 21-18, Lady Chiefs. Here's Sanford, she'll break the press. And she'll find Kraft, who then throws it off Sarah Murph and out of bounds. Wyoming Indian basketball. Michaela Highwalker will take the ball out of bounds. 
Right side, Michaela Highwalker inside. Nice move, and we'll get a foul on Grable as posting up that time, Elena Duran, and she'll be fouled on the play. And the foul's gonna be the third on Chase Bonanski. 21-18, and missing the free throw, Elena Duran. She's 0 for 3 at the line in this game. Wyoming Indians 7 out of 15 at the free throw line. So Bonanski will come out and back in for Grable, Cheryl Diaz-Rios. Duran back up there looking for a touch and can't find it, but the rebound taken away by Dixie. Back outside to Duran. Duran right side Dixie for three. Not good, front of the rim. Ball taken away by Kraft. And down court we go. Ball's gonna be tipped out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on Grable. 13 turnovers on the Lady Buffs. Peasley back in the game. She'll replace Sarah Murph. And it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Lady Chiefs lead by three. Here's High Walker over the timeline. Throws it left side to Dixie. Now back to High Walker. Top of the key in the high post. Now outside kills on top. She'll miss the long three. Rebound taken away by Sanford. She's triple teamed and somehow she'll get the ball to Matea Henderson in the corner craft, but taken away by High Walker. Turnover number 14 on Grable. There's Wyoming Indian down court. High Walker tried to throw it through the legs of Sanford. It didn't work, but picked up by Seabaring. Seabaring at the high post. Duran will take the baseline. Find Shy kills on top. She's fouled, no call. And coming out with it is Peasley. Nice drive, nice pass. A foul, no call, Grable basketball. Back the other way, a steal taken away by Duran. She'll find Taya Dixie, it's a two on five break. Dixie goes behind her back, through her legs, finds Duran, Duran's gonna drive and draw the foul on the play. And that foul gonna go on Cheryl Diaz-Rios. That'll be Rios' first foul. And it'll be a two shot foul as Duran 0 for 4 at the line. We'll go to the line. Timeout, Grable. Jeff Hunt says, I want to talk things over. Three-point game. 421 to play, third quarter. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. Welcome back, as it'll be interesting to see how this second part of the third quarter goes after Grable took a full timeout. 421 to play third. And Wyoming Indian will go to the line and shoot free throws. It'll be Elena Duran shooting two. So Duran 0 for four at the line back up there. First one on the way, not good. 0 for five now for Duran. 21-18 ball game. The longer Grable hangs around, the more they'll believe they can beat the number one Lady Chiefs. Second free throw, front of the rim. Rebound, Dixie, but she'll be called with the push. Third foul on Taya Dixie. 4.20 to play, third quarter. 21-18 ball game. There's Kraft, she'll throw it down court. Ball tipped out of bounds by Seabaring. And it'll stay with Grable. This game 18 to 14. So right now, Grable at the half has outscored Wyoming Indian 4-3 in this third quarter. Here's Kraft along the end line, finds Henderson, 
back out top of the key to Sanford. Sanford will set things up. She'll dribble left side in the 2-3 zone. Stolen away by Dixie. Good hands by the freshman. She'll kick it off right side to Elena Duran. Back to High Walker. Michaela trying to set things up. She'll find Layla Seabaring inside Duran. Lay it up and good. Nice look by Layla Seabaring. Finds Elena Duran for the layup. Her first bucket. 23-18 Lady Chiefs. Down court. Peasley on the left side. She'll dribble back out top of the key for Grable. 2-3 zone defense. Kraft going to get the 8-foot jumper. No good. Rebound Dixie. Outlet pass to High Walker on the run. She can't go anywhere with it. Kicks it outside. Layla Seabaring for three. It's going to be an air ball, but a foul on Tori Sanford. Her second, and Layla Seabaring going to shoot three free throws. Layla, who's not scored in tonight's game, will shoot three. Seabaring, first free throw, not good. Neither team lighten it up at the free throw line. Lady Chiefs 0 for 5 in the third quarter. Seabaring eyes it, fires it, and banks it in. However you got to do it, I guess. Substitutes back in for Grable. Ashton Chapman. Also, Maya Oatman. Oatman came out, got two quick buckets to start this third quarter to tie it up 18 apiece. Second one, or third one for Seabaring, not good. Rebound, Dixie, and they're gonna say Dixie made contact over the back. The fourth foul on Taya Dixie. Wyoming Indian fan off on the left shoulder, did not like the call. Four fouls on Dixie, she sits down. And back in the game is Dion Ferris. Left side, Henderson. Long pass, gonna be picked off by Wyoming Indian. Shy kills on top, knocks it down. So Steele, turnover number 16 on Grable. Back the other way, High Walker, cross court, kills on top. Jumper, not good. Another three on, and then Layla Seabaring nearly steals it back. She'll lose it, picked up by Sanford. She tries to throw it around Duran, and we'll get a held ball. And it'll be Wyoming Indian basketball. Game gonna get incredibly physical if they allow it to get there. Out of the game, Henderson for Grable. Back in is Peasley. Here's High Walker, top of the key to Seabaring, and she'll walk with a basketball. Takes two quick steps before she dribbles the ball. And that'll be turnover number 18 on Wyoming Indian. And what did we get? Layla Seabaring with a T. So Layla Seabaring with her fourth foul. Not sure what happened other than she probably said something. So back at the other end, Kennedy Kraft will shoot two. First free throw on the way, not good. Neither team can hit free throws at all tonight. Grable now two of 13 in the game. Next free throw by Kraft, not good. So it'll be Grable basketball. Camilla Brown gonna replace Layla Seabaring who leaves with her fourth foul. Four team fouls on each team, 2.42 to play third quarter. Lady Chiefs lead it 24-19. Here's Chapman. She'll drop it off to Sanford. Now right side, Peasley. You want to win against Wyoming Indian? Play ugly. That's right now what's going on both sides. Left side pass to Kraft. Kraft going to be double teamed. They threw the ball and they'll call a foul on Wyoming Indian. And that foul gonna go on Elena Duran. That'll be her third. So right now Layla Seabaring with four, Taya Dixie with four, and Duran with three. Grable basketball, 220 to play, third quarter. Here's Chapman, right side. She'll drop it off to Sanford. 
stolen away by Wyoming Indian. That's Michaela Highwalker. Down court, ball gonna be tipped out of bounds by Kraft. So Lady Chiefs basketball. 2.08 to play, third quarter. 24-19 ball game. Chiefs by five. There's the pass in to Highwalker. She'll bring it back out top of the key. They'll set it up. Right side to Ferris. Ferris, nice crossover dribble. And then the pass inside to Elena Duran and she's gonna be fouled on the play. That foul gonna go on Ashton Chapman, her first. Wyoming Indian basketball under their own hoop. We'll see what the out of bounds play is called. Here's High Walker. Nice job passing it in, laying it up. Shy kills on top. That's one of the patented Alita Moss plays. Results in a layup on the out of bounds play. Here's a steal back the other way, nearly by Shy Kills on top. And then coming up with it is Dion Ferris. Long pass down to Michaela Highwalker. She'll get the ball and it'll stay with Wyoming Indian as Grable was out of bounds and had the hand on the ball also. 26-19, Chiefs on an eight to five run in this third quarter. Out of bounds play. High Walker brings it in. It'll be tipped out of bounds by Grable. Still with the Lady Chiefs. Clock is running. Now they're going to have to get the clock right. So they'll have to reset it, add seconds to the clock. And at this point, does it really matter? So 134 placed back on the clock. Lady Chiefs basketball. Here's the inbounds play to Dion Ferris. Ferris dribbles right side, can't go anywhere, being pressured. Kicks it back to High Walker. Michaela, top of the key, left side to Ferris. 120 to play, and they'll go to the ground, and it'll be a held ball in Grable basketball. Lita Moss honored players for, for not moving not making things happen offensively. So Grable basketball on that held ball. Here's Henderson, cross the timeline, right side to Chapman. And Chapman's gonna be fouled. And that foul gonna go on Dion Ferris. So third foul on Ferris. Many Lady Chiefs, four total in foul trouble. 112 to play third quarter. Here's Chapman, got the ball in from Matea Henderson to Peasley, back right side Henderson, now to Peasley. They can't do much with this zone defense. They'll get it inside, however, Bonanski and her shot's not good. Rebound, Michaela Highwalker. Highwalker in charge of the Lady Chiefs point. She'll bring it left side, try to throw it underneath to Camilla Brown and it's intercepted and a turnover by Matea Henderson. Henderson down the lane, she's gonna be double teamed. We'll get a held ball on that play and it'll go to the Lady Chiefs. Lady Chiefs will play this type of basketball all day long and Grable starting to look frustrated. 35 seconds to go, third quarter. 26-19 lead for the Lady Chiefs. There's a nice pass inside to Duran, and the ball will go off Duran and out of bounds. 20th turnover on the Chiefs. Decent crowd in here tonight for Wyoming Indian. Probably as many Wyoming Indian fans as Grable. Back the other way, here's Chapman. She'll throw it away. Picked up by Dion Ferris. Down court to High Walker. High Walker to Ferris. Ferris gonna go in the lane and be fouled on the play. And we'll see who that fouls on. It's gonna be the second on Ashton Chapman. So six team fouls now on Grable, five on Wyoming Indian. There's an inbounds play and we'll get a foul on Wyoming Indian away from the basketball. That'll be the fourth foul on Elena Durant. So now three Lady Chiefs with four fouls each. There's Bonanski to Peasley. 
Eight seconds to play. She walks with the ball, no call. Chapman, steal by Camilla Brown to Dion Ferris, and she, or Elena Duran, will dribble the ball out of bounds. So frustration all over the place for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs, but they lead by seven entering the fourth. It's Wyoming Indian 26, Grable 19. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Frazier, Dr. Hinkle, Dr. Ballard, and Dr. Davis offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. Did you know the Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness in Thermopolis also has something called the Gachi Wellness Center? It's your dream gym with cardio equipment, cable machines, free weights and dumbbells, hydraulic resistance machines, and personal trainers that care about your goals. The Wellness Center is huge and includes a rock wall, pegboard, sled, tires, punching bags, squat rack, and a whole lot more. Check out the Senior Wellness class. To take the first step to a healthier you, visit gachi.org. Welcome back, eight minutes to play in this varsity game. And it's Grable basketball. Here's the pass left side to Tori Sanford, back up top to Ashton Chapman. Grable Lady Buffs trail by eight. It's 26-18, here's Bonanski for three. Not good, rebound, Taya Dixie. To Michaela Highwalker, she'll bring it across the timeline, guarded closely by Sanford. To Dixie, she was fouled, no call, and she'll knock down the long two-pointer. Five points for Dixie. And it's 28-18, Lady Chiefs by 10. Back the other way, here's Bonanski in the lane. Shot not good. Rebound by Dixie to Camilla Brown and High Walker. Michaela dribbles right side, looks left, finds Roberta Whiteplume. Inside pass over the head of Camilla Brown and out of bounds. Turnover Wyoming Indian, their 21st. 10-point ball game, 28-18. Lady Chiefs have had things come fairly easily to them this year, but most of their game's been at home, except the right tournament. Coal Miners Classic up there. Grable basketball. There's Bonanski, right side in the corner. Brings it back out to Tori Sanford. Sanford in the lane is going to be pushed, and it'll be the first foul on Roberta Whiteplume. So that'll be team foul number seven on Wyoming Indian, and that'll send Tori Sanford to the line. Sanford has not scored. She has not shot a free throw. Grable two of 14 at the line, now two of 15. Rebound on the play by Ashley Gomez, and then she'll throw it away, picked up by Michaela Highwalker. Highwalker quickly across the timeline. Lady Chiefs lead by 10. Here's Highwalker trying to get the Lady Chiefs in an offense, and the ball gonna be tipped out of bounds by Gomez, and that time they just tried to force it inside to Taya Dixie. 28-18 lead for the Chiefs. 6.36 to play. There's the pass inbounds, it'll be tipped by Grable's Kennedy Craft. Lady Chiefs calling out the play. There's Camilla Brown trying to get open to Michaela Highwalker. Now to Brown. Outside, Shy Kills on top for three. Front of the rim, not good. And a steal for Roberta Whiteplume to Taya Dixie. She'll try to find Kills on top in the lane. She'll kick it back out to Highwalker. Lady Chiefs did the right thing there and set the offense up. Highwalker. And we'll get a five second call on Michaela Highwalker. Okay, 22nd turnover on the Lady Chiefs. 6.16 to play. 
There's Tori Sanford across the timeline. Right side, Matea Henderson to Bonanski. And a steal by White Plume. And what did they call? Is it on Sanford or is it on White Plume? They're going to say Roberta White Plume with the foul. And so back to the line is Sanford. Coming in the ball game, Dion Ferris as Roberta White Plume has to leave and she's not happy. So go clear to the end of the bench. So Sanford back up there. Free throw on the line, not good. Rebound, kills on top. Outlet pass, Ferris. Down court, Camilla Brown, drive to the hole. She'll be fouled by Bonanski. And that'll be foul number four on Chase Bonanski. First Lady Buff with four fouls. Wyoming Indian playing with three players with four fouls and three on Dion Ferris. Camilla Brown's first free throw all over the top of the rim and falls through. So she's got her first point. Lady Chiefs now nine out of 22 at the free throw line. Tough night at the stripe for both teams. Second free throw, not good. Rebound taken away by Gomez. Down court, Kraft. She'll throw it hard at her teammate, Chase Bonanski, and the ball goes out of bounds off Wyoming Indian. 11 point lead for Wyoming Indian. There's Bonanski with the ball. She'll find Kraft. Deep three on the way for Kraft is good. Kennedy Kraft now with eight points and an eight point lead for the Lady Chiefs. There's High Walker. Back top of the key to Dion Ferris. Left side, Camilla Brown. I'm sorry, Chai kills on top. And she fouled on the play. And then we'll get Camilla Brown walking. Turnover number 23, and this partisan Grable crowd would like nothing better than to see the Lady Buffs knock off the Lady Chiefs, because it just doesn't happen. Here's a steal, and the ball tied up, and Grable comes up with it to Kraft, to Gomez, down underneath Bonanski. There was a foul, no call, and Taya Dixie ends up with the ball. Back the other way, ball tipped out of bounds as Dion Ferris had the ball. And good hustle that time by Bonanski. Eight point lead for the Lady Chiefs. 5.15 to play, 29-21. Here's Michaela Highwalker out near the timeline. She'll dribble left side. Two shy kills on top. Kills on top in this game. Two for 10 from behind the arc. Here's Highwalker, tried to find Dixie. And the ball will be taken away by Rios. And then we'll get a held ball as Taya Dixie playing with those four fouls. Tied up. Rios. Lady Chiefs basketball. 4.58 to play. 29-21 ball game. Of course, it's 7.30 tonight. We'll have the Wyoming Indian Chiefs and the Grable Buffs. There's kills on top. Long three in and out. He's two for 11 now as the rebound goes to Rios. 4.46 to play in this one. Steal by Michaela Highwalker. Good hands on defense by the junior. Left side, kills on top. Now top of the key to Highwalker. Nice pass inside. Camilla Brown finds Dion Ferris for the layup. That'll be her second bucket. She's got six, and the lead is 10. Here's Sanford, left side to Kraft. Her jump shot from 18, not good. Rebound, Bonanski, and she'll be fouled on the play, and that'll be on Shy Kills on top, her second. So Chase Bonanski back to the line. She's 0 for 1. Chase comes in averaging 5.7 points and six rebounds, including 1.6 blocks, and she's not scored. Free throw on the way for Bonanski, not good. She'll get a second. This Grable team now. Two of 16 at the line in the ball game. Second one on the way for Bonanski. Not good, rebound Michaela Highwalker. 31-21, 4-11 to play. There's Highwalker who travels with the ball. She's got lackadaisical out in front, terminated her dribble and then took two steps. 
Turnover number 24 on Wyoming Indian. We'll get a timeout on the floor. 4.07 to play, it's a Wyoming Indian timeout. And we'll be back. 10 point lead for the Lady Chiefs. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student athletes. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Welcome back. 4.07 to play. Grable basketball. Lady Chiefs lead at 31-21 and probably the most significant stat out here tonight is 20 turnovers for Grable, 24 for Wyoming Indian. There's Chapman to Bonanski. Grable basketball. They try to work it inside and it goes off Kennedy Kraft's hands and out of bounds. That'll be turnover number 21 on Grable. So halfway through the fourth quarter, At the point, Dion Ferris, right side to High Walker. She'll try to throw it inside, it'll go off Kraft. Her knee and out of bounds. Lady Chiefs basketball. Lita Moss out of her chair, calling the out of bounds play with the raised fist. Here's High Walker, she'll bring it in deep to Seabaring. Now to Kills on top. Lady Chiefs with their five starters on the floor. There's Kills on top to High Walker, to Layla Seabaring at the high post. She'll try to dribble it inside, and the ball goes out of bounds. Turnover Wyoming Indian, they're 25th. 31-21, 3.34 to play. Next up, the Chiefs and the Buffs. There's Bonanski, she'll drive right side, throw it off her player's hands, and she'll throw it away. That was off Gomez's hands. And that'll be turnover number 22. Lady Chiefs basketball, here's Seabaring to High Walker. Right side to Ferris. Her three pointer, not good. And coming away with the rebound, Matea Henderson. To Chase Bonanski, across the timeline. She'll dribble right side. And we'll get a player control foul on Grable. And it'll be the first foul on Riley Peasley. So eight team fouls on Grable, nine on Wyoming Indian. Here's High Walker, right side to Ferris. Outside kills on top to High Walker on the left wing. Now top of the key, Ferris. Back to High Walker, nearly had it taken away. She'll pop the three, not good. Rebound taken away on the play by Gomez. Lady Chiefs all over the floor. They'll get the ball back. And then we'll get a held ball between Kraft and Michaela Highwalker. And it'll go to Grable on the alternating possession. 2.37 to play. Chiefs by 10. There's Chase Bonanski double teamed in backcourt, nearly throws it away, finds Henderson. Henderson can't go anywhere with it. She's triple teamed, knocked to the floor, no call to Bonanski, who loses the ball out of bounds off Shy Kills on top's foot. 2.26 to play, 31-21. Timeout Grable, a 30-second timeout. 2.26 to go, it's Wyoming Indian 31. Grable 21, we're back. Visit Lander Gamble to make your home feel like new. They will beat any competitor's price. Stop by to speak to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles will help you find the perfect product that fits your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. 
at some point everyone is a pedestrian. When you're driving, you're to pedestrian. Wear like clothing. Walk on a pathway instead of the road. Look out for pedestrians. Avoid distractions like your phone. Look out for pedestrians, they're everywhere. We are the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. We need you in our stand. Welcome back, 226 to play. It'll be Grable basketball. Bonanski with the ball out of bounds. She'll inbound it to Kennedy Kraft. Kraft toward the middle will walk with a basketball. Turnover number 24 on Grable. And we'll get a substitute as Tori Sanford, the senior back in the game for Riley Peasley. Across the timeline, here's Dion Ferris, excuse me. Outside on the angle, Elena Duran. Now to High Walker, C bearing. And now the Lady Chiefs doing a nice job moving the ball around. Jump shot on the way is an air ball. And then Kennedy Kraft will tip the ball out of bounds on that three point attempt by Elena Duran. 202 to play. Lady Chiefs basketball, here's an inbounds play to High Walker, her turnaround, not good. Rebound, Shy kills on top, and she'll be fouled. Shy kills on top will go to the line to shoot two. And I believe that's gonna be foul number four on Chase Bonanski. They're gonna say four fouls. I had her for four already. Free throw by Kills on top is good. Kills on top now with 13 points and we'll get a timeout taken by Grable. 158 to play, the lead is 11. Wyoming Indian 32, Grable 21. A well drawn up game plan can be the difference between wins and losses. The same can be said about your mental health. Making a game plan to talk to your children can make a huge impact on them and help make them feel supported and listened to. The good news is this winning game plan isn't hard to implement. All it takes is you starting the conversation and being ready to talk. If you need helpful resources and tools, you can visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. Welcome back. Hey, we've got him on TV if, if he gets him down there. All right, girls, wave. Get it down a little bit more. I don't know who that is. Hey, show me the muscle. All right, all right. <laughs> Lady Chiefs lead at 32-21. We've got uh, Lady Chiefs fans. Hey, you're still on. Come on, everybody wave. <laughs> They're so embarrassed. Two of them wouldn't even turn around. Oh, come on. An 11 point lead, 32-21. And it'll be Wyoming Indian, Shy Kills on top, shooting the second free throw. She's got 13, she's perfect at the line tonight, three for three, pair of threes in the ball game. Second free throw, nothing but net. And the lead now, 33-21. Chiefs back out in the full court press. Here's Henderson, right side to Peasley, underneath to Kraft. They do a good job breaking the press that time. And Kennedy Kraft scores her 10th point. There's Layla Seabaring, down court, outside, Michaela Highwalker. Nice ball movement for the Lady Chiefs. 140 to play. Here's Highwalker, top of the key to Duran. Right side, Ferris. Now back, High Walker. Chiefs doing a good job moving it. In the high post to Layla Seabaring. Back outside, Elena Duran. Now right side, Dion Ferris. Back to Seabaring. Now back to Duran. Left side, High Walker. In on the blocks. And Shy Kills on top had posted up. Great ball movement that time by the Lady Chiefs. They actually look like they're having fun here as it'll be foul number five on Chase Bonanski with 117 to play. And so Shy Kills on top goes back to the line. She's got 14 and we're gonna get substitutes out of the game as Bonanski comes out. Also, Matea Henderson 
Kills on top, free throw is good. And she'll get a second. Shy in this game, 15 points. Five for five at the line, a pair of threes. Two for 11 from behind the arc. She'll hit the second free throw. And that's gonna pretty much salt it away. 35-23, Chiefs by 12. And Lady Chiefs just don't need to commit a foul. There's Peasley with the walk, and it's called. 24 turnovers now for Grable. 111 to play, Lady Chiefs by 12. Here's Highwalker down court to Kills on top. Back to Michaela Highwalker, and then she'll walk with a basketball. So 26 turnovers now on the Lady Chiefs. 107 to play. Ashton Chapman, the sophomore, will take the ball out of bounds for Grable. She'll bring it in to Tori Sanford. Sanford in the lane, nice bounce pass to Gomez. Back outside Peasley, her jump shot, not good. Rebound taken down by Elena Duran to Layla Seabaring. Down court high walker. 50 seconds to play in this one. And we'll get a foul on the outside. That foul gonna go on Ashton Chapman, her third. And so Michaela Highwalker will go to the line. Highwalker, her stat line is clean, but she's played a lot. And she'll get two free throws. 35-23 ball game. Highwalker misses the first free throw. She'll get a second. Peasley gonna come out of the game. Back in for Grable is Henderson. High Walker, second free throw. She'll eye it, fire it, and knock it down. So High Walker scores her first points of the game, and it's 36-23. Here's Sanford down, stolen away by Kills on top. And she'll bring it outside to Durant. Now to Dion Ferris and Michaela High Walker to Layla Seabaring. Layla Seabaring doing a nice job at this high post, just passing it around. Durant, right side. Inside, Shy kills on top, lay it up. She did not use the backboard. Rebound, High Walker, and they're gonna say held ball, and it will stay with Wyoming Indian with 21.5 seconds to play. Grable's gonna feel good about this game. Played Wyoming Indian tough. Got physical, played good defense. Here's the pass inside, Duran, lay it up, not good. And Kraft will tip the ball. Nope, they'll say it's off Duran and out of bounds. 16.7 seconds to play. Lady Chiefs still in the full court press. Here's Kraft. Back to Sanford, down court. Gomez, she walks, no call. Pass inside, ball taken away by Shy Kills on top to Michaela Highwalker, and that's gonna do it. One second, and the final buzzer. Shot at the buzzer, not good by Dion Ferris. Final score, Wyoming Indian 36. And the Grable Lady Buffs, 23. Wyoming Indian improves to nine and one on the season. We'll be back with the post-game show brought to you by Click It or Ticket after a quick break on KWYW. Cast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-2941 today. That's 332-2941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. Welcome back. Click at our ticket post-game show as we're about 15 minutes away from the start of the Wyoming Indian boys and the Grable Buffs. And Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs improved to 9-1 on the season with a 36-23 win over the Grable Lady Buffs. 
Grable drops to two and six on the season. Uh, first for Grable, they would commit 25 turnovers in today's contest to 26 for Wyoming Indian, not something that uh, you want to happen. It was Chase Bonanski fouling out with 117 to play. Uh, she's the only player that fouled out of this game. Ashton Chapman had three fouls for Grable. On the other side, fouls for Wyoming Indian, four for Layla Seabaring, four for Taya Dixie, four for Elena Duran, three for Dion Ferris, two for Maggie Smith, and two for Shy Kills on top in the foul category. Lady Chiefs somehow managed to not foul out a player in the ball game. Individually for Grable, one point for Ashton Chapman. She was one for three at the free throw line. Matea Henderson tonight with five points. She was 0 for four at the free throw line. She did have a three pointer in the first quarter. 0 for two at the line for Tori Sanford. She played great defense all night long. 0 for three at the free throw line for Chase Bonanski. Uh, she did not score and as I said, fouled out with 117 to play. 10 points for Kennedy Kraft. She had a pair of threes in the ball game, went 0 for four at the free throw line. Ashley Gomez scored two points. Maya Oatman with four points and Cheryl Diaz-Rios with one point. She was one for two at the free throw line. This uh, Grable team through three quarters was two for 14 at the free throw line. They would miss four more and finish two for 18 at the free throw line in the ball game. So they would score 10 points in the first quarter, four points in the second and third quarters, and five points in the fourth quarter. Individually for Wyoming Indian, Roberta White Plume with two points. One point, uh, those two points for White Plume were two for two at the line. Layla Seabaring had one point in the ball game. She was one for five at the free throw line. Five points for Taya Dixie. She was one for two at the free throw line. Two points for Elena Duran. Duran went 0 for six at the free throw line. Uh, six points tonight for Dion Ferris. She was two for two at the free throw line. Maggie Smith had two points. Uh, she was 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Shy Kills on top. She's going to be our Papa Murphy's player of the game. Uh, she ended up with two threes. Unfortunately, she was just 2 for 12 from behind the arc. But Shy hit her two threes, and she was 6 for 6 at the free throw line. And 16 points for Shy Kills on top. Michaela Highwalker, 1 for 2 at the free throw line for 1 point. Camilla Brown, 1 for 2 at the free throw line for one point. Chiefs would hit 14 out of 29 free throws and Grable two of 18 at the free throw line. Final score in this one, Wyoming Indian 36 and the Grable Lady Buffs 23. We'll take a quick break, we'll turn it around, we'll come back, Wyoming Indian and Grable and we'll be on the uh, pregame show and we appreciate the postgame uh, template uh, here and uh, it is a big win for the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. They go on the road, it was ugly, but somehow they found a way and that's the most important thing to get it done. They can correct the issues that they saw tonight and they'll have to because tomorrow they'll take on the level Lady Bulldogs. We'll take a break, we'll be back with the Hampton Inn and Suites pregame show as Wyoming Indian Chiefs and the Grable Buffs get ready to match it up here on the Wind River Radio Network and we're streaming on WOW Today at YouTube. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the WYO Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the WYO Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit yotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. Wyoming Community Bank is ready to serve you. Stop in at any one of their branches located in Riverton, Lander, and Dubois, a bank that is owned and operated by the locals of Fremont County. Wyoming Community Bank, they're here to help you. 
Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181 today. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. Welcome back. We've got eight and a half minutes to go before the start of this one as Wyoming Indian is warming up on the screen, on the live stream, and we're on WOW Today at YouTube. We're also at 99.1 KWYW all across the airwaves. This is the Wyoming Indian Network, and uh, it's Chiefs Nation basketball tonight as the Wyoming Indian Chiefs go on the road to take on the Grable Buffs, coached by Logan Birmingham. Birmingham used to be the coach at Ten Sleep before he moved over here to Grable. And of course, Wyoming Indian coached by the longtime coaching legend, owner of uh, many state championships, uh, Craig Ferris. And he's got this this Chiefs team playing pretty good basketball. They came in five and three on the season, one and zero oh after that 94-81 win last week over the St. Stephen's Eagles. Grable, four and two overall. Their last games were uh, December 17th when they took on Big Piney. It was a 62-45 win for this uh, um, Grable team, and then they would lose on December 16th to Bighorn, 53-49. So those are their last two games. Four and two overall in the season. Grable comes in averaging 54 points a game. They give up 48 points a game, uh, 31% from behind the arc uh, for this uh, um, Grable team. Uh, 41% inside the arc on their two-point shots, and they shoot 70% at the free throw line. For the Chiefs, well, they come into this game averaging 71 points a game while giving up 66 points a game. The Chiefs shoot 36% on their three-pointers from behind the arc, 38% inside the arc on their two-point shots, and 56% at the free throw line. The last game the Chiefs played was that 94-81 win over St. Stephen's uh, back a week ago on December 30th. Uh, this Chiefs team five and three on the season, one and zero in conference play. Individually for Wyoming Indian, they come in with Jarrell Tillman, the senior, averaging 8.6 points a game, 4.3 rebounds. Isaiah Burnett at 9.3 points a game and five rebounds. Sophomore Darian Augustine at 4.9 points a game. Uh, senior Jason Slowbear, 2.3 points a game. Freshman Parlene Ferris at 4.3 points a game. Freshman Adriano Brown, 1.9 points a game, averaging four rebounds. The freshman doing a nice job for this team. Junior Taryn Martell averaging 3.4 points a game, 2.1 rebounds. Brandon Coffey, the dynamic senior, averaging 13.7 points, 2.3 assists. Jaquin Jones, the senior, averaging five points and seven rebounds. Junior Tyson sounding sides at 7.1 points and 2.6 steals. And Alan Redman averaging 5.3 rebounds and 2.8 points. Also getting to play quite a bit lately, lately uh, has been Cade Lincoln. We'll see if he is in the lineup tonight for Wyoming Indian. Individually for the Grable Buffs um, under Birmingham. Uh, they come in, uh, leading scorer um, is Kale Wright. He scored, I'm sorry, Carlos Rodriguez. Rodriguez, the junior, averaging 15 and a half points, 10.3 rebounds, and three and a half steals. Kale Wright at 11.3 points, 4.2 assists, and two and a half steals. Eight points a game for Aiden Reese, two and a half steals for him. Ethan Goten at nine points and 10.3 rebounds. Five points a game for Cade Cooper. 3.8 points a game for senior Beta, uh, Beto uh, Diaz-Rios. And Kobe Henderson, who's just played limited minutes, uh, is averaging 12.3 points a game. This Grable team is reasonably big. Uh, 
Uh, Diaz Rios at 6'3, Kale Wright at 6'3, uh, Carlos Rodriguez at 6'1, and Ethan Goten at 6'1. Uh, Wyoming Indian, uh, they just don't have much height at all. The tallest guy uh, is about 6'2, and that's Cade Lincoln, who hasn't played a lot. Also, uh, you know, they're, they all just kind of look as carbon copies of each other, and, and they score. And when they score, it's, it's uh, every chief with a chance to score. They've really had a balanced scoring attack uh, this season, but uh, when needed, the seniors have been able to turn it on. We've got about four minutes to go before the starting lineups. It's the main event tonight as the Wyoming Indian Chiefs take on the Grable Buffs next up on KWYW, and we're streaming on Wild Today at YouTube. It's more than clocking in or collecting a paycheck. We are a network of caring professionals who want to be here, dedicated to serving our communities. We are Sage West Healthcare, our two campus hospitals in Riverton and Lander. We take pride in our region, our people, and our communities. Located in beautiful central Wyoming, filled with natural recreation in our own backyard. We are neighbors caring for neighbors, a community caring for its own. We are Sage West. We are recruiting the best like you. Riverton's Hampton Inn and Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Welcome back to the Hampton Inn and Suites pregame show. The Wyoming Indian Chiefs 5-3 on the season, 1-0 in conference play. Tonight take on the 4-2 Grable Buffs. Grable last played on December 17th when they took on Big Piney. It was a 62-45 win over the Punchers for the Grable Buffs. And then one day before that, the Bighorn Rams beat this uh, uh, Grable team 53-49. It's the same Bighorn uh, Rams team that uh, beat Wyoming Indian fairly handily in the final, uh, on, this, on the final day of the uh, Foothills Classic Tournament at Ethody. So, we're about ready to go. Teams are ready for the starting lineups. And we've got a minute to go here as uh, Grable's leading scorer, Carlos Rodriguez, averaging 15 and a half points, 10.3 rebounds, and three and a half steals. And he's a pretty good baseball player too. All state baseball player, Carlos Rodriguez, who plays for the Lovell Mustangs. On the other side for Wyoming Indian, uh, leading scorer is Brandon Coffey, who comes in averaging 13.7 points a game. So your starting lineups uh, brought to you by wowtoday.com. Senior averaging uh, those almost nine points a game, Jarrell Tillman. Senior Isaiah Burnett getting the start tonight. Isaiah has been consistent, averaging 9.3 points and five rebounds. Brandon Coffey comes in at 13.7 rebounds, 2.3 assists. And we'll get uh, freshman Cordell Spoonhunter making his first start tonight. And Tyson Sounding Sides getting a start. So a junior, a freshman, a senior, a senior, and a senior for Wyoming Indian tonight. And now for the Grable Buffs starting lineups, Coach Logan Birmingham 
We've got Aiden Reese averaging eight points, two and a half steals for the Grable Buffs. We've got Cade Cooper averaging five points. He's a senior. Senior Kale Wright comes in averaging 11.3 points, 4.2 assists, two, two and a half steals. Junior, Carlos Rodriguez averaging 15 and a half points, 10.3 rebounds and 3.3 steals and the final starter for the Grable Buffs will be Kobe Henderson. Henderson averaging 12.3 points a game just playing his third game of the year. So Grable Buffs out in their home white uniforms. They've got gold down each side and dark blue numbers trimmed in gold in back. It says Grable Buffs across the front. Wyoming Indian out in their travel black uniforms and uh, Columbia blue numbers trimmed in red. Chiefs win the opening tip off as Cordell Spoonhunter will get the opening tip. And immediately Wyoming Indian with a turnover down court and then Grable with the turnover as Braden, Brandon Coffey with the interception. Grable in the 2-3 zone defense. Here's the jump shot, it'll be an air ball by Isaiah Burnett. And coming away with that rebound is Cale Wright. Down court, Carlos Rodriguez back to right. Right side on the angle to Kobe Henderson and to Aiden Reese. Reese, you gotta like any guy that's got flowing locks of red hair. Here's right inside to Rios. He'll mix you up and under and Tyson sounding sides with the rebound. Down court in the corner and nearly throwing it away but Tyson sounding sides comes up with it to Jarrell Tillman. His three is not, is not good and Kale Wright comes away with that rebound. Down court to Diaz Rios. Underneath, Carlos Rodriguez misses the layup. Rebound taken away by Wyoming Indians, Brandon Coffey. He'll kick it back to Jarrell Tillman. 6.50 to play, no score here in the first quarter. To Isaiah Burnett, outside Jarrell Tillman. Now Coffey for three in the zone, not good. Rebound Rodriguez to Kale Wright. 6.36 to play the first quarter. Down to Reese, underneath Rodriguez. He can jump through the gym. Turnaround shot, not good. And coming away with that rebound, the freshman, Cordell Spoonhunter. Down court, Jarrell Tillman. He'll go to the hole, lay it up and good. And Jarrell able to get all the way through the traffic for the easy layup. Two nothing Wyoming Indians, 6.15 to play first quarter. Down court, Rodriguez over the zone. Press, Henderson, now Rodriguez and Wright. Two minutes into this ball game. Chiefs lead it 2-0. Here's Rodriguez and a steal by Tyson Sounding Sides. He'll pick it up. Tried to find Jarrell Tillman and threw it away. Turnover Wyoming Indian. Back to Henderson. Henderson walks it across the timeline. 2-0 ball game. 5.43 to play in the first quarter. Here's Kale Wright on the right wing. Finds Rodriguez at the high post. Left side to Reese. He'll stop Pop from 15, not good. And Brandon Coffey coming away with the rebound. He'll find Jarrell Tillman. Jarrell right across the timeline. Inside, look to pass, good sob. And outside Cordell Spoonhunter, three-pointers, an air ball. Jarrell Tillman will hustle the ball down, throw it off of Kale Wright and out of bounds. Wyoming Indian basketball, 5.15 to play first quarter in a two nothing ball game. Here's Tillman. Right side, Coffee on the out of bounds play. Three pointer in and out. Rebound hauled away by Rios. And unfortunately, Jarrell Tillman had his arm in there. And Diaz Rios forces the foul. First team foul on Wyoming Indian. So Reese with the basketball. Chiefs out in that three quarter court. 2 2 1 press. Grable. We'll get it across the timeline. Kick it back to the player who seems like he's been playing forever, Kale Wright. He's a senior, finally. Used to play varsity as a freshman. Outside Henderson will bank in the three. Kobe Henderson. 3-2 Grable. First lead change of this ball game. To Jarrell Tillman. Back to Spoon Hunter, cross court. Jarrell Tillman from Coffee. Back to Coffee. now Tillman. Jarrell. Left side to Coffey, back up top of the key. 
Tillman. Underneath on the baseline, Isaiah Burnett. They tried to find Tyson sounding sides and it'll go off his hands and picked up by Reese. Third turnover on the Chiefs. There's Henderson in the lane to Reese at the free throw line. Right side, Henderson for three. It's good. Left-handed set shot. Back-to-back -back threes and it's 6-2 Grable. Haven't seen Henderson much. He's only played in two games. There's Spoon Hunter, right side, underneath. Ball goes off Isaiah Burnett's hands. Turnover number four on the Chiefs, 6-2 Grable. There's a steal by Brandon Coffey. Took it right away from Reese. Cross court, Jarrell Tillman. Tillman inside, lay it up good. Jarrell Tillman with four points. And it's 6-4. Chiefs right back in the press. 3.30 to play, here's Rodriguez. Back to Henderson, nearly an over and back. There's Henderson in the lane, shot up not good on the running left-hander. And we'll get a Wyoming Indian foul on the play. I believe that one's gonna go on Cordell Spoonhunter. His first. So Henderson to the line, he'll shoot two. Grable leads it 6-4. First free throw, good. Jaquin Jones gonna enter the ball game as Tyson Sounding Sides comes out. Jones not starting for the first time this year. Henderson back up there. Has scored all seven of Grable's points, now all eight. And it's eight four. There's Jones across the timeline, left side, Brandon Coffey. Long three is good. Coffee with that left-handed J, and it's 8-7, Grable. And a near steal, and it is a steal for Isaiah Burnett. He'll pop the jumper, not good. Rebound taken away by number 12, Juan Acuna, who's now in the game for Grable. I missed that sub. Outside to Henderson. Now Rios, top of the key. Right side, Acuna, double dribbled, no call. He'll kick it off to Kale Wright. 8-7 lead, Wright for three, it's good. Kale Wright from deep, about 22 feet. Nothing but net, 11-7 lead in this one. Here's Isaiah Burnett with the set three off the side of the backboard. Not good, rebound taken away by Grable. Here's Kale Wright, he'll stop, pop from three, good. You can't let him get going. Timeout, Wyoming Indian, 224 to play. First quarter, it's Grable 14, Wyoming Indian seven. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. If you're via... via Welcome back, Wyoming Indian basketball. Darian Augustine now in the game, along with Martell. That's Ryan Martell for the Chiefs. Augustine, right side to Martell. In the corner, Tillman for three, it's good. Jarrell Tillman, that's a beautiful shot when it goes. High arcing three. Wyoming Indian with two threes, Grable with four threes early on. Grable now, big man inside, Beto Diaz-Rios. Inside, move by Kale Wright is good, he's fouled. Eight points for Kale Wright. And that foul's gonna go, I believe, on Jaquin Jones. Jones first foul, third team foul on the Chiefs. None on Grable, 16-10 lead as Wright steps up and hits the three. Hits the uh, free throw. And now nine points. Wyoming Indian with a turnover. Nobody had the ball, I guess, on the end and uh, leads to a turnover. 
So five turnovers on the Chiefs. Grable leads it 17-10. Pass in, Acuna with a three, not good. And a rebound taken out by Acuna. Acuna with the ball, right side, Kale Wright for three. Wright's feeling it, three pointers good. Three threes, 12 points for Kale Wright, and it's 20 to 10. Grable, and here's a foul on Acuna on the outside. Juan Acuna with his first foul. Kale Wright already 12 points in the first quarter, eight for Kobe Henderson. Carlos Rodriguez back in the game. He'll replace Juan Acuna. 20 to 10, a lot of fireworks in this one. Right side, Martell, Ryan Martell to Darian Augustine. Back to Martell, cross court, Jarrell Tillman. Tillman to Martell, back to Tillman. Three pointer on the way, not good. Rebound taken away by Kobe Henderson. He's double teamed in backcourt, but Grable quickly across the timeline to Aiden Reese. Cross court pass, Henderson for three, good. Wow. Henderson's got three threes. He's got 11, and it's 23 10. A two man show for Grable. Back outside, here's Martell underneath Brandon Coffey. Outside, Jarrell Tillman, three-pointer, not good. He'll get his own rebound. Take it inside, miss it. Tip up by Jaquin Jones. Jones gets it back, and they'll reset. There's Martell with the walk. Six turnovers on Wyoming Indian. Chiefs trail 23-10. Just what the doctor ordered for this Grable team. 11 points for Kobe Henderson, 12 for Kale Wright. Six threes in the first quarter. That's shooting. Here's Wright to Reese. Cross court pass to Henderson. 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. Chiefs need a stop. Henderson on the outside looking for his shot. Can't get it. Drops it off. Kale Wright wanted the shot, couldn't get it. There's Henderson, he'll pop the three and air ball. It'll go off Reese. Well, it should have went off Reese, but they're gonna say it's off Ryan Martell. So Grable with another chance at a shot with four seconds to play in the first. There's Wright. Kale inbounds it deep to Kobe Henderson. He'll throw up the three, good. Oh my. Seven threes in the first quarter for Grable. The Buffs 26, Wyoming Indian 10. We're back after a break on KWYW. On the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. Welcome back as we start the second quarter. Seven threes for Grable in that first quarter and a near turnover as it's Grable ball. Here's Henderson on the outside. He had 12, I'm sorry, 14 first quarter points to Kale Wright and then Cade Cooper. Back to Aiden Reese. He'll pull up from the free throw line. It's good. So Reese gets things going for Grable and the lead is 18, 28-10. There's a pass inside, Cordell Spoonhunter on the drive. They'll say it's on the floor and it'll be a hard foul on Grable. We'll see who that foul's on. It'll be the first on Cade Cooper. 
So it's two team fouls on Grable, three on Wyoming Indian in a relatively clean game. There's Brandon Coffey for three, not good. Wyoming Indian shots not going. Here's Adriano Brown in the game for Wyoming Indian. So two freshmen on the court right now for the Chiefs. Here's Cale Wright, top of the key to Cooper. Cooper can't go anywhere, back to Wright. And then Wright loses the handle, ends up out by midcourt. Left side to Henderson. Top of the key, Cooper. Right side to Reese. Inside, five footer, not good. Rebound taken away by Jaquin Jones. Jones on the run, goes down the lane, lays it up, ends up on the ground, no call. And the rebound out to Grable's Carlos Rodriguez. Rodriguez, 360 in the lane, lay it up and good. Most gyms, that's a walk. 30 to 10. Chiefs trail by 20. There's Jaquin Jones, left side. To Jarrell Tillman, back to Jones. Now left side to Coffey. Hot shooting in this game by Grable. They've only missed about three shots. Here's Tillman to Coffey. Now left side Jones. Grable doing a nice job in the zone. Back outside Coffey for three, in and out. Just not hitting them. Rebound, tipped up. Jaquin Jones with a putback. That was Cordell Spoonhunter that uh, caused that, and that shot's good by Jaquin Jones. 30 to 12, Grable by 18 in this one. There's Reese out, top of the key. Guarded closely by Jones. Chiefs now playing man defense, and we'll get a timeout taken by the Grable Buffs. 5.48 to play first half. Grable leads it 30 to 12. Jay Collins here, and I want to wish all the Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Stop down at Fremont Chevy to talk sports and let me help you purchase your next vehicle. Jay Collins, your local sales professional at Fremont Chevy Buick GMC, 307-349-7846. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Welcome back, 5.48 to play, third or second quarter. Grable's been hot. Parlay and Ferris now in the game for the Chiefs. Adriano Brown, Cordell Spoon under three freshmen. Here's Carlos Rodriguez and a blocked shot, but a foul called on Adriano Brown. First foul on Brown. Looked like a lot of ball in that one. 18 point lead now as Carlos Rodriguez goes to the line. He'll shoot two. Grable three for three at the free throw line. Now four for four as Rodriguez hits the first. 31-12, Grable. Rodriguez, second free throw, good. Four points for Carlos Rodriguez. Chiefs quickly down court, Coffey. To Jones, back to Coffey for three. Air ball, rebound Parlane Ferris. Back outside, tipped out by Henderson. Ball will stay with the Chiefs. 32 to 12. Chiefs trail by 20. Here's Cordell Spoonhunter in the lane. Shot's good, but they're gonna call him for walking. Looked to me like he only took two steps. Turnover number seven on the Chiefs. Grable basketball. Chiefs now have backed off to a half court matchup defense. Here's Kale Wright, right side. Can't go anywhere. Finds Rodriguez to Cooper. He'll miss the free throw. Rebound, Parlene Ferris. Ferris down court, loses the ball. And here we come back the other way. Cooper to Kobe Henderson. He's in the lane, double pumps it. And he'll be fouled and it'll be a two shot foul. Craig Ferris did not like that one, but a foul gonna go on Adriano Brown. His second. Team foul number five on the Chiefs and Kobe Henderson to the line. He'll shoot two. Henderson four threes in that first quarter, two for two at the free throw line. Perfect. And he'll hit the free throw. So 15 for Henderson, 12 for Kale Wright. After that, Carlos Rodriguez with four and Aiden Reese with two. 
It's been a two-man game that's built this lead. Second free throw from Henderson, in and out. Rebound, Jaquin Jones. Jones down court. Three-pointer put up again by the Chiefs. Outside to Parlane Ferris. His jumper, back of the rim, not good. Rebound, Tyson sounding sides. Outside, Jaquin Jones. Inside, nice pass. And a layup by sounding sides. Cordell Spoonhunter on that assist. 33-14. Chiefs need a stop. There's Coffee. Coffee is one for five from behind the arc. Right side, Juan Acuna. Acuna to Kale Wright. Now Rodriguez with the pick for Kale Wright. Back to Rodriguez and he'll walk with a basketball. Turnover number three on Grable. 4.08 to play, first half. We'll get Cooper coming out of the game along with Acuna. Reese back in the game. Also back in, Beto Diaz-Rios. The big man on the inside. Grable, 2-3 zone defense. Left side, Parlene Ferris for three. Side of the rim, not good. Rebound, Rodriguez. To right. Kill right, being guarded closely by Brandon Coffey. He'll bring it down court. No five second call. Ferris wanted one, didn't get it to Kobe Henderson and Jaquin Jones. Now right side to Reese. Reese in the lane, tries to find Rios, stolen away. Tyson sounding sides. Four turnovers on Grable. To Coffey, to Parlene Ferris. Back to Brandon Coffey, turnaround three is good. Coffey now two out of six from behind the arc. And the Chiefs cut into this lead, it's 33-17. Here's Reese, outside Rodriguez. In the lane, shot, not good. Rebound, fought around, comes out, Kale Wright. Three Chiefs couldn't get it. Here's Rios, the big man with the post up, lays it up and good. 35-17. Coffee left side to Ferris. Now to Jaquin Jones, back to Parlene Ferris. Jaquin Jones. Right side to Coffee in the corner. Tyson sounding sides, one of the three did not take it. To Jaquin Jones, he tries the fancy pass to Cordell Spoonhunter, it goes off his hand, rebound, or er, turnover Chiefs. Eight turnovers now for Wyoming Indian. Grable basketball, Aiden Reese on the outside to Rios, nice bounce pass in the lane, block shot, Cordell Spoonhunter blocks Rodriguez's shot. Kicks it back to sounding sides. Tyson wanted it, didn't take it. Finds Coffee for three, not good. Brandon now two for seven from behind the arc. To kill right, right side Aiden Reese. Picked up by sounding sides, bounce pass stolen away. Five turnovers on Grable. And now here's a blocking foul the other way on Kobe Henderson. Jaquin Jones tried to go around him and got knocked down. So we'll get subs out for Wyoming Indian. Cordell Spoonhunter, Brandon Coffey, Jaquin Jones come out. Back in, Isaiah Burnett, Jason Slowbear, and Jarrell Tillman. Tillman in the corner to sounding sides. Top of the key, Burnett. Isaiah kicks it off to Jarrell Tillman. Tillman dribbles right, goes back left to Slow Bear and Ferris. He tries the inside pass to Isaiah Burnett. It's picked off and he turnover number nine on Wyoming Indian. Grable basketball, here's Henderson on the outside. Makes a move in the lane, passes it off to Acuna and then Slow Bear with a block shot out of bounds. 35-17 as Darian Augustine will replace Parlene Ferris. Parlane getting a schooling right now as a freshman. His coach says, use the bounce pass, son. Here's the pass inside, Rodriguez on the out of bounds play, not good, rebound. Kate Cooper in the putback for Cooper. 37-17, leads back to 20. 1.15 to play, first half. To Slow Bear, now Augustine. Right side, Slow Bear, timeout Wyoming Indian. It'll be a 30-second timeout with 108 to play. We'll be back 
and a 20-point lead for Grable. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Welcome back. 37-17 lead for the Grable Buffs. Grable, good basketball team. They come in four and two overall. Um, they showed they were for real when they beat uh, Big Piney on December 17th by 17. Wyoming Indian basketball. They're sounding sides. Left side to Augustine. Now to Jarrell Tillman. One of the three, didn't take it. Finds Augustine. Darian unable to go anywhere. Gets the ball back from Tillman. Three-pointer on the way, not good. Rebound, Isaiah Burnett. His put back is an air ball. Tyson Soundingside shaves it in to Cooper. So turnover number 10 on the Chiefs. There's Henderson over the timeline. 36 seconds to play, first half. Henderson right side to Reese. Inside Cooper, posting up, making room for himself. Not good, rebound Augustine to Tillman. Tillman in the lane, had a guy wide open, threw up the layup, it's good. Jarrell with nine, and it's 37-19. Grable back the other way, 11 seconds, now 10. Henderson unguarded, misses the layup. Rebound, slow bear to Tillman, five seconds. Jarrell all the way, running one-hander, and we're gonna get a Blair control foul on Jarrell Tillman. The second. Terrell had guys wide open and he tried to do it himself. Three tenths of one second to go, that'll do it. And they're not starting the clock. Halftime. Grable 37, Wyoming Indian 19. We'll be back with the halftime show. Brought to you by wildtoday.com and the Wyoming Department of Health coming up after a break on KWYW. Long for roads to turn slick. Snowfall is often accompanied by high winds, and blowing and drifting snow can make it difficult to see the road. Speed limits are based on dry pavement conditions and good visibility. Be ready to reduce speed and increase following distance. Crashes are twice as likely to happen when it's slick out, and it's usually because someone is driving too fast for conditions. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. This message is brought to you by YDOT. From the field, to the court, to the pool, and beyond, Fremont County athletes give their blood, sweat, and tears for their teammates and community. Why compromise that with alcohol or marijuana? Help your athlete make the most of their playing time by avoiding the dangers and impact that substance use can have on their performance and future. For more resources and information, visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit nreca.org. Papa Murphy's is proud to sponsor this week's Player of the Game. For a limited time, enjoy a Papa Murphy's barbecue chicken pizza made with KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. After the game or any time, you can't beat the fresh ingredients and authentic flavor of a Papa Murphy's take and bake pizza. And you know it's baked right every time because you baked it yourself. Papa Murphy's on North Federal in Riverton. Drop in or order online at papamurphys.com. Go Wolverines! At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference.
You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. Welcome back. Halftime score, 37-19. This is the Wyoming Department of Health halftime show. And remember, it only takes a minute to get checked out and see if you have pre-diabetes. So log on, take the test. Um, Wyoming Department of Health cares about you and you should care about yourself too. So Wyoming Indian, well, they're getting ran off the floor here in the first half as Grable comes out, hits seven threes in the first quarter, takes a 26 to 10 first quarter lead. Grable couldn't miss at the free throw line. They're three for three in the first quarter. Chiefs, well, they had a pair of threes, seven points from Jarrell Tillman, three points from Brandon Coffey, but that was it in the first quarter as Grable behind the scoring duo of Kale Wright had 12 first quarter points. Uh, Kobe Henderson with 14 first quarter points jumped out big and then Grable outscored Wyoming Indian 11-9 in that second quarter and the halftime score is 37 to 19. Individually for this Grable team, two points for Aiden Reese, two points for Cade Cooper, 12 points for Kale Wright, uh, four points for Carlos Rodriguez. He's two for two at the line. Caleb, Kale Wright is one for one at the line. Two points for Beto Diaz-Rios and 15 points for Kobe Henderson. Henderson three out of four at the free throw line and those four three-pointers in the first half. For Wyoming Indian in the first half, Terrell Tillman with nine points. He had a three in that first quarter. Six points for Brandon Coffey, two points for Jaquin Jones, and two points for Tyson Sounding Sides. The Chiefs would have 10 first half turnovers, uh, five for Grable in the first half. Foul trouble for Wyoming Indian, two for Jarrell Tillman, two for Adriano Brown. On the other side, no more with more than one, and those were the only two players with more than one, Jarrell Tillman and Adriano Brown. Halftime score in this one, Wyoming Indian um, trails Grable 37-19. Tomorrow at 4 and 5.30, we'll be back at Ethity as Wyoming Indian takes on the level Bulldogs. Lady Chiefs, 9 and 1 on the season, will face a Lady Bulldogs team who, uh, let's, let's look up the stats here. I've got them all written down for tomorrow. The Lady Bulldogs um, come in uh, to this uh, game tomorrow at 4 and 2, and of course they play in Class 3A, their last win was over Rocky Mountain on December 20th, and they lost to Wheatland on December 17th, 41-35. So it'll be an interesting game as level of Class 3A comes to town. Of course, this team, uh, longtime rivals of the Lady Chiefs and Chiefs. And of course, then at 5.30 tomorrow, it'll be the one and four level Bulldogs taking on the Wyoming Indian Chiefs. But here it's Grable 37. Wyoming Indian 19, it's gonna take a big effort by the Chiefs to get back into this and it's gonna to have to start from the first minute of the third quarter. This has been the Wyoming Department of Health halftime show. Hey, make sure you get tested for pre-diabetes. We'll be back. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. Riverton Vision Center offers comprehensive eye health exams, highly trained staff, and a large selection of fashion eyewear and sunglasses. Dr. Frazier, Dr. Hinkle, Dr. Ballard, and Dr. Davis offer over 70 years of experience. Call Riverton Vision Center at 856-9451 to schedule an appointment today. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. 
stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. Did you know the Gachi Rehabilitation and Wellness in Thermopolis also has something called the Gachi Wellness Center? It's your dream gym with cardio equipment, cable machines, free weights and dumbbells, hydraulic resistance machines, and personal trainers that care about your goals. The Wellness Center is huge and includes a rock wall, pegboard, sled, tires, punching bags, squat rack, and a whole lot more. Check out the Senior Wellness class. To take the first step to a healthier you, visit gachi.org. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Welcome back. 37-19 is the score in this one. And uh, we did want to try to get you some scores from across the state. Let's see if we can get some boys scores here. Boys basketball from today. See if we can get some scores. Class 3A, it was uh, Glenrock 37, Moorcroft 24, Torrington 27, Newcastle 7. That's a halftime score. Uh, let's see, uh, at the East 2A East Boys Smackdown, it was uh, Number three, Tongue River 86. Number one, Pine Bluff 75. So Tongue River, we saw that before Christmas. It's Chiefs ball, but Tongue River, very good basketball team. Chiefs out in the uh, zone offense. Here's Tyson sounding side, shooting the long three, not good. Rebound, Jarrell Tillman with the putback. It's not good, and then Cade Cooper with the rebound. So Chiefs are gonna have to pick it up on defense and get some stops, they're in the man. Here's Kobe Henderson, right side Rodriguez, underneath the Cooper, he was open. Tyson Soundingside picks him up. Then Isaiah Burnett with the steal. Six turnovers now on Grable. There's Jarrell Tillman. Grable will save it back in, and Wyoming Indian with its 11th turnover. Back the other way, Carlos Rodriguez lays it up and good. Six points for Rodriguez, and the lead back to 20, 39-19. Here's Coffee in the corner to Spoon Hunter, cross court pass Tillman, one of the three, didn't take it, finds Coffee, top of the key, 6.53 to play, third quarter. Left side, Jarrell Tillman, now back up top of the key to Coffee, and now the Chiefs really not moving much. Jarrell Tillman with the long three, rebound by Tyson Sounding Sides, and he'll be fouled by Cade Cooper. Cooper's second foul, and Tyson Sounding Sides will go to the line. Sounding sides with two points. First trip to the free throw line tonight by the Chiefs. 6.40 to play, third quarter. Chiefs gotta score when the clock has stopped. Sounding sides will shoot two. He'll eye it, fire it, and miss it. Sounding side's the only player on this team that still at least has a mask on. It's down below his chin. Second free throw is short. Rebound, Kale Wright. So that didn't work. Grable basketball, here's Henderson with the left-handed dribble. Guarded out top of the key by Spoon Hunter. Underneath the Cooper, outside Reese for three. It's good. Aiden Reese comes to the party with his first three. And that's eight threes now for Grable. 
underneath. Nice pass to Cordell Spoonhunter. He loses it. Tyson sounding sides with the putback. Not good, and then Cooper loses the ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Wyoming Indian. 42 to 19 lead here. 6-13 to play in the third. Here's Tillman. He'll bring it in deep to Spoonhunter. Cordell around the horn to sounding sides. Now to Coffee. Coffee in the lane, nice move. Shot up, not good. Rebound goes out of bounds. And it'll go to Wyoming Indian. One guy pointed one way, the other guy pointed the other. And now he's arguing with Craig Ferris. <laughs> Grable basketball. Nothing's going the Chiefs way tonight. Here's Reese. He'll walk it across the timeline. Left side pass to Henderson. Top of the key, Rodriguez. Nice fake. Carlos from eight, not good. And the rebound pulled away by Isaiah Burnett to Jarrell Tillman. Tillman right side gets knocked to the ground and he'll go and shoot free throws. He missed the two point shot. But a nice job by Jarrell to force the foul on Kale Wright. First foul on Wright. And now Tillman to the line will shoot two. Jarrell leads all Wyoming Indian scorers with nine. First one on the way, not good. Chiefs 0 for 3 here in the third quarter. Got to get it going. Back up there. Tillman bounces it, eyes it, fires it, and misses. Rebound by Cooper. Grable basketball. There's Reese down underneath to Cooper, the big man, 6 foot 3. Outside to Kale Wright, who's 6 1. Right side to Aiden Reese. More of an honest 5-9 to Henderson. Now Rodriguez, Henderson throws up the three ball. It's an air ball. Rebound Spoon Hunter to Jarrell Tillman. Tillman goes to the hole. Looked like he was fouled, was not. Rebound kill right. Right back the other way. Baseball it out to Reese. Reese pops from seven, it's good. Good ball movement by Grable. And that's seven for Aiden Reese. And this lead builds to 25. In the corner, Isaiah Burnett, he'll stop, pop from 17, it barely catches rim. Rebound by Cooper. Nothing going right for the Chiefs. Here's Kale Wright. Down court to Henderson with the left-handed dribble, 4.43 to play, third quarter. Henderson to Rodriguez, back to Henderson, and they get the no-look pass, but Henderson with the player control foul. That'll be his second. Wyoming Indian basketball as we'll get ready to see a plethora of substitutes for Wyoming Indian. Here's Cade Lincoln in the game for the first time. Jaquin Jones, Adriano Brown in the game as Burnett, Brandon Coffey come out. Chiefs 0 for 4 at the line in the third. We're almost halfway through, they've not scored. And we'll get a timeout taken by Wyoming Indian. 4.25 to play, third quarter. It's Grable 44, Wyoming Indian 19. Community Health Center of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, community health centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Visit Lander Gambles to make your home feel like new. They will beat any competitor's price. Stop by to speak to one of the sales agents or visit LanderGambles.com. Lander Gambles will help you find the perfect product that fits your budget and lifestyle. Lander Gambles, 420 Main Street, Lander, Wyoming. At some point, everyone is a pedestrian. When you're driving, you're to pedestrian. Wear like clothing. Walk on a pathway instead of the road. Look out for pedestrians. Avoid distractions like your phone. Look out for pedestrians, they're everywhere. 
We are the Wyoming Indian Lady Chiefs. We need you in our stand. Welcome back, a Wyoming Indian near turnover as the ball allegedly went off Adriano Brown, but uh, they're gonna say it stays with the Chiefs. 4.20 to play, third quarter. There's Spoon Hunter to Jaquin Jones, back to Spoon Hunter. He'll throw up the three, not good. Rebound, volleyballed around, Cade Lincoln had it, and Rios takes it away. No call, back to Kale Wright. Grable basketball, 44-19, and then Jaquin Jones with the steal. He gets knocked down. Grable gets the layup. Carlos Rodriguez. 46-19. And that should have been a foul, but it wasn't called. And so we got a little makeup going on as Juan Acuna gets whistled for his second. 349 to play, third quarter. Chiefs basketball. Right side, Jarrell Tillman with the long shot in and out. Tipped out. Cordell Spoonhunter stopped, and the ball goes out of bounds to Grable. Grable basketball. Kill right, Kobe Henderson, Aiden Reese. Beta Diaz Rios, and Carlos Rodriguez on the floor for the Buffs. Rodriguez nearly loses the ball, kicks it back to right. He'll miss the three, rebound Lincoln. Outlet pass, Jarrell Tillman. Jarrell, now he's starting to do things one-on-one, -on -one, but that time it worked. Tillman with 11 points on the layup. 46-21. First Chiefs bucket of this third quarter comes with 3.16 to go in the third. Timeout Wyoming Indian will be back. 46-21, Grable with the lead. A well-drawn-up game plan can be the difference between wins and losses. The same can be said about your mental health. Making a game plan to talk to your children can make a huge impact on them and help make them feel supported and listened to. The good news is this winning game plan isn't hard to implement. All it takes is you starting the conversation and being ready to talk. If you need helpful resources and tools, you can visit FremontCountyPrevention.com. A proud sponsor of this broadcast is Bailey Enterprises. For over 50 years, Bailey has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey. Welcome back, 3-12 to play, Grable basketball here in the third quarter. Terrell Tillman with the near foul as Kale Wright loses it out of bounds. So turnover Grable, they're seventh. Chiefs, well they've just been beaten by a hot, hot shooting first half team. There's Spoon on her right side to Tillman. Terrell Tillman with the running one-hander, it's not good. He'll get his rebound back, throw it up and it's good. 13 for Jarrell Tillman. Lead is 23. We'll see if the Chiefs can cut into it here in the final 245 of the third. Henderson to Rios. Not a, you gotta be double teaming the guy and we'll get a 10 second call finally. Craig Ferris was yelling for 10 and the ref finally gave it to him. And then they pat each other on the back. So turnover Grable. There's Jones. Tell you what, Craig Ferris, when he stops coaching, he's given up. Here's Tillman with the air ball. Rebound put back by Lincoln, not good. And Carlos Rodriguez out on the run on the fast break. You're not gonna beat him in a race. And Carlos Rodriguez fakes it up, hits the shot, and he's fouled. Good basketball player, good athlete, Carlos Rodriguez. And we'll see who that foul's gonna be on. I don't know, they've never put it up. They finally do, it's on Jarrell Tillman, his third. Free throw up and good by Rodriguez. He's now got 11, 49-23. There's Spoon on her, right side to Jarrell Tillman. Jarrell is never afraid to shoot. Rebound, Adriano Brown put back, not good, but he'll be fouled on the play. 
Chiefs starting to get second shots. Foul's going to go on Rodriguez, his first. So Adriano Brown to the line. He'll shoot two. First one, not good. Chiefs in this quarter, 0 for 5 at the line. There's Cooper back in the game, and he'll replace Beto Diaz Rios. Brown back up there. Eyes it, fires it, and misses it. Rebound Cooper to Rodriguez and Reese. 208 to play third. Chiefs needed to make a run. They've not made any kind of a run in this one. Here's Kill Wright all the way to the hole, misses the layup. And the rebound by Jaquin Jones. Jones out on the run. Left side, Cordell Spoonhunter in the corner. Adriano Brown takes it in, lays it up, not good. Rebound, Kale Wright. Chiefs scored four points in the quarter. They've been outscored 12 to four. Here's Wright in the lane. To Cooper, block shot. Cordell Spoonhunter down court. Jarrell Tillman, he's in the lane. He'll be fouled, no call. Terrell hits the shot, he's got 15. 49-25, 121 to play third. Tillman picks up Cooper and a block shot. Again, Cade Lincoln that time on Kale Wright to Terrell Tillman. He'll have his shot blocked and the ball comes off. Terrell got fouled all over the ground and then we'll get, what is the call? It's gonna go on Wyoming Indian, so it'll be a held ball, and it'll be alternating possession to Grable. 101 to play third, 49-25. Chiefs been held to six points in this quarter. There's Acuna. Brandon Coffey getting ready to check in the game. Outside to Henderson, and then he'll throw it Cross court, it was meant for Acuna, he wasn't there. Reese picks it up, finds Acuna, back to Henderson. 42 seconds to play, third quarter. There's Rodriguez in the lane, he'll throw it away, turnover Grable, that's their 10th. Down court, Cordell Spoonhunter, drives toward the hole, kicks it back to Lincoln, he'll have his three pointer blocked, and court, Carlos Rodriguez gets arm, and so Lincoln will get three free throws on that foul by Carlos Rodriguez, his second. So Lincoln will step up. Two shots. Cade Lincoln misses the first. So Lincoln will get a second. Chiefs now 0 for 7 at the line in this quarter. Now 1 for 8. They finally hit one. As Tyson sounding sides, Jason Slowbear and Brandon Coffey come back in the game. 23 point lead with 29.8 seconds to play. Lincoln will get in third and he hits it. So two points for Cade Lincoln, 49-27. Craig Ferris still trying to coach his guys. There's Cooper inside, Kobe Henderson with a layup. He's got 17, he took like four steps, no call. That's okay. There's Jaquin Jones, he'll lose it. Turnover Wyoming Indian, they're 12th. And back the other way, here's Kale Wright. Shot up, good by Kale Wright. And we've played three quarters. It's Grable 53, Wyoming Indian 27. We'll be back after a break. This is Wyoming Indian Basketball on KWYW. Why should you choose Lander Medical Clinic or Western Family Care for your health care? In addition to four locations in Fremont County, they also provide telehealth. Telehealth can be your go-to answer when you're out of town, on the road, or just can't get to urgent care. All you need is a good internet connection. To schedule a telehealth appointment, call 332-2941 today. That's 332-2941. Lander Medical Clinic and Western Family Care. With telehealth, they're putting your health first every time. 
Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. Welcome back. Brandon Coffey with the ball. Fourth quarter underway. Here's Jaquin Jones. Right side to Slow Bear. Slow Bear along the end line. Kale Wright falls down. Back to Slow Bear from Cade Lincoln. Now Slow Bear outside Jaquin Jones. Cross court. Brandon Coffey in the corner. Lincoln. Now back out top of the key to Jaquin Jones. Jones inside off Lincoln's hands. Lincoln will have it saved by Slow Bear off Lincoln's knees and out of bounds. Turnover Wyoming Indian, their 13th. Grable basketball, 7.30 to play. It's not been the Wyoming Indian Chiefs night tonight. There's a steal by Lincoln on the press. Lincoln inside, nice job, misses the layup. And then the ball will go off Aiden Reese and out of bounds. Wyoming Indian basketball with 7.16 to play. Ferris barking out orders to his guys. Pass, left side, Brandon Coffey. He'll come out, top of the key, set up the offense. Right side, Jaquin Jones. Brandon, wide open, three, good. Brandon Coffey now, three threes and nine points in the game. 53-30, lead is 23. Chiefs have been outscored in every quarter tonight. We'll see if they can do something here in the fourth. They're still in it, sort of. Here's Henderson, top of the key, right side to Reese. Reese, right side to Henderson, inside. Pass stolen away by Rodriguez, his shot's good. Great athletic move by Carlos Rodriguez. He's got 13. Comes in leading the team at 15 and a half. Brandon Coffey, left side. Now he's starting to heat up. He'll knock down his 4-3 of the game. Chiefs have five threes and will get I believe the ball out of bounds. It will stay with Grable. As we get Ryan Martell, Cordell Spoonhunter back in for Cade Lincoln and Jaquin Jones. 55-33. Grable basketball, 6.22 to play. There's a steal, Jarrell Tillman. Nice job. Jarrell got his head down. He's gonna go to the hole, lay it up and good. Jarrell now with 17 points. And Brandon Coffey with the near steal. The lead is 20. It was 26 to start this quarter. 6-11 to play. Chiefs in the full court press. There's the inbounds pass to Carlos Rodriguez. To Cooper, did not take the shot. Back outside Acuna. Now to Kale Wright. Wright brings it right side to Acuna. Now into Carlos Rodriguez, beautiful move. Misses the layup, but he'll be fouled on the play. And Carlos Rodriguez will shoot free throws. Foul's gonna go on Brandon Coffey, his first. Chiefs really haven't been in foul trouble all night. They've only got eight fouls in the game. On the other side, nine for Grable. Rodriguez will hit the first free throw. He's got 14. Back in the game, Burnett, as sounding side, sits down for the Chiefs. Second one on the way for Rodriguez is good. 15 points for Carlos Rodriguez, 17 for Kobe Henderson, 14 for Kale Wright. Kale Wright scored 12 of those 14 in the first quarter. Here's Coffey to Jarrell Tillman, right side Coffey. Now back to Tillman, he'll throw up the three and it's air. Saved in to Isaiah Burnett and then a blocked shot by Kale Wright. Down court, Carlos Rodriguez, one-handed catch, and then he'll lose it out of bounds. Turnover, Grable. Grable had the numbers, just couldn't get the shot. Back the other way, Wyoming Indian basketball. Slow bear in the corner. Burnett, three is not good. Rebound taken away by Alcuna. Three on nothing break. Here's Carlos Rodriguez, lay it up and good. 
Six points in the quarter for Carlos Rodriguez and the lead back to 24. There's Darrell Tillman in the lane, finds Slow Bear for three, not good. And then we'll get a foul on the back side. And it's gonna go on Kale Wright. He pulled down Isaiah Burnett from the back side. Second foul on Wright. 5.02 to play, Darian Augustine gonna come back in for Jason Slowbear. And Isaiah Burnett to the line as that's team foul number seven on Grable. Isaiah has not scored tonight. Free throw on the way is good. 59-36, 5.02 to play in Grable. Burnett back up there, eyes it, fires it, knocks it down. So two points for Isaiah Burnett and a near steal for Cordell Spoonhunter. Reese picks it up, Grable has numbers outside right for three, it's off the mark. And coming out with that rebound is Kobe Henderson. So Grable with numbers again to Acuna, left side kill right. To Reese on the right wing, now Cooper at the high post, timeout by Grable, 4.38 to play. It's Grable 59, Wyoming Indian 37. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. Wyoming Community Bank is ready to serve you. Stop in at any one of their branches located in Riverton, Lander, and Dubois, a bank that is owned and operated by the locals of Fremont County. Wyoming Community Bank, they're here to help you. Natural Health Solutions offers treatments for a variety of conditions, along with nutritional counseling, chiropractic, acupuncture, and more. Treatment plans designed individually to optimize your health. Call for an appointment, 856-8181, today. When you park, park. Welcome back, 59-37 ball game. Grable basketball. 438 to play in this one. Kill right with the basketball for the Grable Buffs. He'll dribble right side. Terminate his dribble, bring it back out, top of the key to Henderson. Brandon Coffey, Darian Augustine, Cordell Spoonhunter, Isaiah Burnett, and Jarrell Tillman on the floor for the Chiefs. There's Tillman with the rebound and he'll be fouled in backcourt. And I believe that one's gonna go on Aiden Reese. Nope, they're gonna call it on Kill Wright, his third. So Wright with three fouls. And Jarrell Tillman will go to the line. He's 0 for 2 at the line, but he's got 17 points. Jarrell's first free throw, not good. Rebound taken away by Carlos Rodriguez. The Chiefs struggling in this half. Two of nine in the third quarter, two of three in this quarter. So three of 12 at the free throw line in the ball game. There's Reese right side on the dribble. Loses the ball, guarded closely by Augustine. Love those tennis shoes that Augustine's wearing, man. They're Fusha Buell. There's a blocked shot by Cordell Spoonhunter on Aiden Reese, and then another one by Spoonhunter. And we'll get a foul on the Chiefs. Cordell Spoonhunter displaying athleticism there. And it'll be the second foul on Brandon Coffey. So to the line, Aiden Reese shooting two. First one, not good, sort of a brick. Eh, like a cinder block. 59-37, <laughs> 348 to play. Gotta wipe this one off your mark and come out and play level tomorrow. Second one's good, Reese has eight points. And the lead is 23. There's Darrell Tillman to Coffey. Now Spoonhunter inside, be knocked to the ground, no call. Rebound 
Kale Wright. Henderson down court, beautiful pass. Rodriguez lay it up and good. That looked like a football play. Eight points in the quarter, 19 for the game for Rodriguez. Here's Tillman in the lane, double pump, shot is good. 19 for Jarrell Tillman, 62-39. Near steal by Augustine to Reese. Down court Rodriguez, and he'll lose the ball. Picked up by Burnett. Cordell Spoonhunter by himself, and nobody saw him. In the corner, Augustine, three-pointer, not good. Rebound, Cooper. Grable basketball, 2.56 to play. Chiefs just can't seem to close this gap. There's Henderson. Steal by Cordell Spoonhunter. Carlos Rodriguez goes in, but he's unable to do anything, and that's just a nice play. Cordell Spoonhunter on with his first bucket. 62-41. There's Rodriguez. Nearly lost it to Cooper, and he'll hit the eight-footer. Cade Cooper with four points. Timeout, Wyoming Indian. 225 to play. Grable's gonna win this one. It's Grable 64, Wyoming Indian 41. If you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. It's more than clocking in or collecting a paycheck. We are a network of caring professionals who want to be here, dedicated to serving our communities. We are Sage West Healthcare, our two campus hospitals in Riverton and Lander. We take pride in our region, our people, and our communities. Located in beautiful central Wyoming, filled with natural recreation in our own backyard. We are neighbors caring for neighbors, a community caring for its own. We are Sage West. We are recruiting the best like you. Welcome back, Wyoming Indian basketball. Parlene Ferris in the game along with Tillman, Brandon Coffey, Jaquin Jones, and Tyson sounding sides for the Chiefs. Here's Coffey, right side Tillman, long three, not good. Rebound sounding sides, his putback is not good, but he'll be fouled by Kale Wright. And that'll be the fourth foul on Kale Wright. 64-41, Chiefs trail by 23. Here's Sounding Sides at the line, he's 0 for 2. First one, not good. Chiefs have had just as much trouble shooting free throws tonight as the Lady Chiefs have. Chiefs now two for four in the fourth quarter, two of nine in the first three quarters, and Sounding Sides will hit the second free throw. 64-42. Here's Reese with the baseball pass to Henderson. That's one way to break the press, 64-42. Two minutes to play as Kale Wright to Acuna. Right side, Henderson. Henderson can't go anywhere, finds Reese. Chiefs playing good man defense here. They're gonna have to force something though. Here's Wright, back to Reese. Now to Kale Wright. Inside to Cooper, nearly stolen away by Sounding Sides, and then Cooper tips it out of bounds. Turnover number 12 on Grable. Rodriguez quickly back in the game, and Kale Wright leaves with those four fouls. Wyoming Indian basketball, 140 to play. There's Tillman inside to Sounding Sides, outside Parlene Ferris, three-pointer is good. Young freshman knocks it down. Lead is finally down to 19. That was a walk, no call. Right side of Kuna, and then we'll get a foul on Brandon Coffey, his third. 122 to play. Fourth team foul on the Chiefs. Grable basketball. Pass underneath, Carlos Rodriguez from Henderson, lay it up and good. 
10 points in the quarter, 21 in the game for Carlos Rodriguez. There's Coffey, sounding sides in the lane, turnaround shot, not good, rebound Reese. One minute to play. There's Kale Wright. Chiefs being expected to play defense right now. Here's Wright down the lane, lays it up. Carlos Rodriguez is gonna be fouled on the play with 55.2 seconds to go. And that one on Tyson sounding sides, his first. Rodriguez back to the line. Carlos misses the first free throw. His first miss of the game, he was five for five. Actually five out of six going in there. Nope, five out of five. Second one on the way, not good. Rebound, put back Henderson. Just out hustled everyone. Kobe Henderson now at 19. In the lane, Jarrell Tillman. They'll say blocking foul on Kobe Henderson. His third. And Jarrell Tillman will go to the line. 47.3 seconds to play. 8.50, Grable time. We'll have a quick post game show. Don't know if we'll get to talk to the coach because we gotta get out of here and head for home. First one from Tillman is good. It's night or 20 tonight for Jarrell Tillman. Like to thank Mitchell Seahare for his help tonight on the camera. He's gotta come see me tomorrow night to get paid. Next one by Tillman is not good. 44 seconds to play, here's Kale Wright. Across the timeline, guarded closely by Parlane Ferris. To Reese, 36 seconds. Reese terminates his dribble. Back to Wright, now right side to Reese. Inside a half minute to play, timeout for Grable. 27.6 seconds to play. 22 point bulge here. And Grable's gonna sub their guys. 30 second timeout, we'll be back. Riverton's Hampton Inn and Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. Heinz General Store has been the grocery store of choice for the Fort Washakie area since 1945. For this week's special, see their website at HeinzGeneralStore.net. And for convenient shopping this winter, click on Heinz Online, download the app, and shop in the comfort of home. Schedule a convenient pickup time, and the team at Heinz General Store will do the rest. Heinz General Store is a proud sponsor of Wyoming Indian Basketball. Let's go, Chiefs! Layup is good by number three, Jesus Rodriguez. And it's 70 to 46, here's Coffey. 15 seconds to play, Jarrell Tillman in the lane, shot up, not good. Rebound taken away by Beto Diaz-Rios. Down court, Acuna, back to Rios. Outside, two seconds, one second, and that'll do it. Final score, Grable 70, Wyoming Indian 46. We'll be back with the Click It or Ticket post game show coming up next on KT or KWYW. Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. 
Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Welcome back. Click it or ticket post game show. We'll get some stats here. Wyoming Indian did outscore Grable finally 19 17 in that fourth quarter, but. Uh, an outstanding performance tonight by the uh, Grable Buffs, who improved to five and two on the season. Wyoming Indian falls to five and four on the season, and they'll be back tomorrow taking on the Lovell Bulldogs tomorrow night about 5:30 p.m. We'll be on the air about 3:45 with the pregame show for the Lady Chiefs as they take on the Lady Bulldogs. Individually for Grable, eight points tonight for Aiden Reese, four points for Kate Cooper, 14 for Kale Wright. 22 for Carlos Rodriguez. He was outstanding in the fourth quarter, had 11 points to go along with his 11 in the second and third quarters for 22, a game high. Uh, Beto Diaz-Rios with two points, he Jesus Rodriguez with two points, and 19 points for Kobe Henderson. On the other side for Wyoming Indian, 20 points tonight for Jarrell Tillman. He is our Papa Murphy's player of the game. Uh, Jarrell is really the only person who was offensively on his game tonight. Two points for Isaiah Burnett, three points for Parlane Ferris, 12 points for Brandon Coffey, uh, two points tonight for Cordell Spoonhunter, uh, two for Jaquin Jones, three points tonight for Tyson Sounding Sides, and two points for Cade Lincoln. That's going to do it for us here at the uh, Grable High School in Grable, Wyoming, Bighorn County. Did not treat Wyoming Indian right tonight, but uh, Chiefs will be back. They're five and four, and they'll take on Lovell tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow from Grable. I'm Cody Beers. Have a wonderful Wyoming weekend. Why should your new floor come from Carpet One? Because we're passionate about the spaces our neighbors call home. We're part of your community, and we're also part of the world's largest cooperative of independently owned and operated flooring stores. So you can be sure you'll get great selection and outstanding value with every installation. Whether it's carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl, our experts take the guesswork out of choosing the right floor. We're your local Carpet One Floor and Home, the one store for your perfect floor. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details. Only at Sutherland's. Jay Collins here, and I want to wish all the Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Stop down at Fremont Chevy to talk sports and let me help you purchase your next vehicle. Jay Collins, your local sales professional at Fremont Chevy Buick GMC, 307-349-7846. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the battle.